Hey, what's up guys? We are back in again in the Mega Draft Tournament to show you guys the best Mega Draft tips to conquer this tournament, any Mega Draft challenge, or any new Mega Draft game mode that might pop up in Clash Royale. So let's get right into the Clash Royale gameplay and show you guys what's up. I got back from Finland like less than 12, 14 hours ago. Kind of crazy to be back in the United States and I'm psyched. So you want to take the small spells because they're really versatile. And if you take small spells like log or arrows and your opponent doesn't have the ability to choose log or arrows, then you can, you know, pick the dark goblins, pick the firecrackers and be a huge menace for the opponent. That's generally what you want to do. The best pick all the time is Little Prince. If you have the ability to choose Little Prince at the start, it is universally going to give you good value in every matchup. And also it's just overpowered. So that's the card that you want to pick first. Next off, um, we can go and choose like guards here and then choose arrows as well. Uh, so now we have an arrows and log so this will be kind of a fun time because we are able to easily eliminate the uh, spear goblins with the log to get a uh, decent trade every time because we're going to be able to hit the tower and then the arrows are going to prevent him from choosing anything to go and um, counter our guards right so if we had the ability to choose firecracker that'd be pretty cool um, we also I don't want to go and counter his mega knight right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and choose mighty miner um, I would like to have a knight or some type of mini tank to go and counter that I think that would be a good choice we could choose minor wall breakers um, the fact that he is already going for freeze is interesting to me. So let's go and choose another fire spear for a fast cycle just to make sure that we have that ability. We've got two small spells, so we're not going to choose a third big spell. The other spells that I was looking at weren't that enticing, like earthquake and rage are, you know, decent. Rage is really good with goblin giant, but that's not the route we're going to go for. Oh, wow. Um, he's got cannon and freeze, so I guess we can go balloon. Um, first off, let's just choose minor so we have that as a win condition. And then we could pick Mortar if we want as well. There's a lot of different routes that we can take. First off, we don't see any good anti-air answers. So I kind of want to go and snag the Mega Minion. So then I have that ability to just go and choose the Balloon if I need to. Um, I'm not really that scared since I do have arrows and I have logs. So the Wall Breakers are going to be moderately useless for our opponent. And yeah, we're going to have a good time. So I could choose Balloon right now. It doesn't seem like he's got good answers. What else could he pick? How is he going to counter this Balloon? Maybe a Tornado. But I don't think he's going to know how to use it since it is like the first game of the uh, Royal Tournament, Global Tournament. All right, all right. 120 in Mega Draft. Yeah, I did too um, on my main account. This is why we're on our second account right now. Yo, I am so excited. The World Finals was hilarious. Honestly, I had some of the best moments there. Traveling was horrible though. On the way back, it was so funny. I'll tell you guys that story later on in the stream. But we're having a good time, you know? We're vibing. So Spear Goblins are going to die to a log. As I said before, it's a nice... Uh, elixir trade for us because we get damage on the tower so that's why we chose that small spell because i knew i was gonna get value from it no matter what all right he just dropped his fire spirit um counter of the wall breaker so that's not really a fire spirit counter but that's what he did he doesn't have spear goblins in cycle so i don't know if he's gonna be able to stop this balloon remember you try to choose your win conditions later on you can be more versatile we we're able to choose the balloon later on because well if you think about it from this perspective the opponent doesn't have a good answer to the balloon we can pick it up last card and then they're not gonna have any room or flexibility in their mega draft to go encounter it we saw hey limited air answers awesome to drop the balloon if we chose the balloon early on you would probably pick tornado and mega minion and some other answers to it so it's nice to be able to have that versatility pick cards that are flexible at the start that are strong universally in every deck like log poison you know that's what you want to do that's how you want to roll and if you can find an opportunity where your opponent has literally no answer in the entire deck pool to your card like for instance if there's an inferno dragon yet there's no reset right like, let's say there's no Zap, there's no Electro Wizard, there's no way of stopping the Inferno Dragon from running rampant, then you want to pick that pretty early on, then you can actually have that. But if there's like an Electro Wizard, an Electro Dragon, and also a potential Electro Giant, you never want to make that play and do something dumb like that. Okay, also, uh, my Miner probably should have been dropped further back, but it's all good. This is a very easy win, so let's go and click the Mighty Miner ability, so maybe we can take the other tower. It would be nice to take more towers early on, because in the Global Tournament, the more crowns that you get, the higher you're going to be ranked. So it might not matter for everyone, but if you are trying to get like the highest finish possible, you do want to collect as many crowns as possible. So maybe let's try to three crown this guy actually to assert utter dominance. We do end up having the mighty miner, so that has the potential of taking the three crown as well. So I'm going to go in for guards here. We've got six elixir on the field. I'm going to go wall breakers, uh, and let's just stop that from crossing. Then the wall breakers get targeted by the tower first, and then we can log and finish everything off. And then we can go in for a Miner and then go for the Balloon. And even if he goes in for more spam, I think we're okay here. Um, I can go in for a Fire Spirit and then I can get Guards down on the Mini P.E.K.K.A. And then I don't think the Mega Knight jumps. Yeah, that was beautiful. 
Notice how the Mega Knight didn't even target the guards and the mini pack was isolated on the guards. That's how you want to play this game. That's how we roll. Alright, so let's go for another balloon here. Let's get a Mega Minion attack. Let's go for a minor inside corner so the second tower starts to target that instead. We go arrows. I don't think we're going to be able to take everything here, but hopefully we can. We need one more balloon shot. Oh, we got it. That's an easy three crown. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, very happy to see you and OJ together. Big fan of you both. Yeah, dude, I'm going to be posting pictures on Instagram. Sir Tag CR, if you want to follow me there. I'm going to post a whole bunch of pictures of my trip. And it'll be a good time. You know, you guys can check it out. Please update your friend link for members. Yeah, I'll do that. I mean, I was in Finland, so I, you know, I've been traveling for uh, 26 hours. I went to sleep as soon as I went back home. And we're kind of vibing right now, you know. We, uh, we're definitely not in a position where... I can, you know, update everything immediately, and I, I don't think you expect me to. I just want to let you know that it will be done later today, maybe, or after I move. I'm moving from Redmond. I'm moving into Seattle, guys. That'll be fun. Um, right now, I'm in the suburbs of Seattle, like, really far away from everything. All right, so he chose Mega Knight again. I don't know what's up with everyone choosing Mega Knight, but it's not like it's a phenomenal card or anything. It's actually pretty easy to counter in this game mode if you've got, like, a Dark Prince or if you've got something like that. Um, are there any good resets here? So I think I'll we'll probably choose Wizard if I choose Minions early on, but let's choose Mini Pekka because it is a phenomenal counter to the Mega Knight. Also, if we pick a whole bunch of fast cycle cards and there's no Earthquake in the pool, Elixir Collector will be really strong. Yeah, Elixir Collector here is great because if he fireballs, it's going to be a negative one trade. And we can stack up Goblin Giants and probably just win with that. So I think that's what my strategy is going to be. I could choose Zap and also Log or Snowball and uh, Log. Yeah, let's choose Snowball. Snowball and Log. I think that's good. And then we just go in for the Elixir Collector Goblin Giant Spam with Dark Prince as well. And I think that's going to be our best route. He's not going to know that that's the route that we're going to go. I mean, I'm kind of locked into it right now. Uh, I really do need the Goblin Giant. So, Bowler will be good as well. Let's do Goblin Giant, Bowler. Minions are going to be pretty obnoxious. The Cannon Cart's interesting. Um, I don't really have any anti-air answer to the Minions, but I don't think it's going to matter that much. I think Goblin Giant will fulfill the bill. Let's do that. Let's do Goblin Giant right now. We can go Bowler as well. I think Bowler is going to be pretty good into the Witch. Go and choose that. And then we could choose like a Inferno Dragon if we want it as well. We can go Inferno Dragon. We can go for Elixir Collector. I like Elixir Collector a lot more. So I think that's what I'm going to go for. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I think we win. So it'll be a fun time. Typically this deck is played with Rage, but it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, so the guy is going to have Inferno Dragon. So we have to save our Snowball for that. We also have an Ice Spirit. So... Um, should be fine. Obviously, the Inferno Dragon is going to be a bit of a menace, but it's not going to be the end of the world. Wait, is this guy, um, is, does he have a finished clan? I think he does. Maybe I'm wrong. No air defense? No. Uh, I just told you I did have air defense and it doesn't matter, so don't worry. Um, yeah. A lot of times, like, you know, I've got Snowball. That's all I really need. Also, against Inferno Dragons, it's not like you need anti-air defense all the time. You can kind of just go like this and pull it back and then be okay. Um, okay, this is not looking amazing, but definitely possible for us to win this. I can go mini pack of here. Perfect. Yeah. Not like I needed all the anti-air defense, but it could have been better for sure. Like, this defense could have been a little bit more clean. Um, okay, this guy seems like he's decent at the game, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't be. Feels bad, man. Alright, we can go Dark Prince on that, and then we'll see what we can do. Obviously, since we do have Goblin Giant, we can cook a little bit, but... Ah, oh, man. It is what it is. How many wins does he have? Uh, I have zero. Or I have one, I think. I have one. One win right now. Um, remember, the guy's got Fireball, so I guess I can go Elixir Collector here. Drop it here. Ice Spirit up top, so the Inferno Dragon gets frozen. And then... Wait, does that... Oh, that actually targeted my Elixir Collector. I think that's better to target that than my tower, to be honest. If I'm tripping. All right, let's go Bowler in the back. He's going to Fireball. Gets one of the Elixir Collectors. That's fine. Notice how I dropped it really far off to the side so he wasn't able to hit what he wanted. Go Goblin Giant here just because I don't want the Witch to go and target my tower. And we can start to make some things happen. And maybe go in for like a mini pack if you want. What's up? Yo, we're chilling. We're vibing. Jake is washed. Uh, I hit top 200 in the world the entire time, bro. Um, like the last streams and stuff. And... You know, my videos as well. So you can check that out. I'm not like the best player in the world. I'm not like a top 200 player um, most of the time. But, you know, in this meta, I, I've been I, top 200 the entire time. Also got the 20 win challenge. I don't know. I, I can't really complain. I think I'm pretty happy with uh, how my skill level has been. Um, I also don't play eight hours a day. I kind of record and just have fun and vibe. And that's I think the most important thing is like making sure you're really enjoying the game. 
All right, we're gonna get that Ice Spirit down. We'll go in for a mini packet to pull everything back. Then we'll go for a Snowball to hopefully kill everything. Which needs to die. Nice. Beautiful. That was perfect gameplay. Yeah. You guys are doubting my anti-air answers. Um, and as you guys can see, it didn't really matter. Didn't even matter. <laughs> Let's go. We can go for a log here and then go for an Ice Spirit. One. But yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend drafting in this particular method if you guys are unable to, you know, outmaneuver uh, an Inferno Dragon with, like, Goblin Giant and Snowball. Uh, but I think it's pretty, uh, pretty like, obvious what to do. Just set, stack up Elixir Collectors and win. Elixir Collector, Goblin Giant is a really smart strategy. Um, you kind of just get an Elixir Advantage. You spam a Goblin Giant, and after you counter push and you win the game. Bend your Elixir Collectors, drop a Goblin Giant in front um, after you defend with your cards, and it'll generally take hours. Uh, 2.6 cycle? Uh, 2.6 cycle, you can't really get those type of decks. Feel bad you're just trolling? Oh, you're good, man. Uh, it's all good. Don't worry about it. I only take things personally. Um, I just respond to every comment or every single question that I see because that's kind of what we do out here. Yeah, so if you take Electro Dragon or Electro Giant first play, then it's really easy for me to counter. Like, imagine just showing your hand and showing that you got Electro Giant, and then I choose a Fisherman, and then I choose a Cannon, and then I choose E Barbs. Like, there's just so many different things I can do that makes this guy in a miserable position. Actually, let's just show you guys how bad this is going to be for him. I choose Cannon and Elixir Collector because he's going to choose Earthquake. Oh my gosh. It was Fireball. This is going to be funny. Yeah, I'll choose Elixir Collector like last card, I guess. Um, so... Choose Skeletons for a fast cycle. We could choose Goblin Drill to go and pull it back a lot. This is going to be a fun time. I'm actually pretty excited. Choose Dark Prince because we want Splash Damage on the Witch. And then... There's a lot of different cards that I can pick. I don't know why he's choosing this when he doesn't have Tornado. There's no Tornado available for him, so he's in a pretty interesting position. I kind of want to choose Royal Delivery as well, just to clean up the Rascals and everything. I also want to choose Log. Um, there's no Poison here available for me, so having double small spells with a Fast Cycle Miner or Fast Cycle Drill will be fun. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to choose Drill, and then should be in for a good game. I could pick Elixir Collector if we want it, but it's not really worth. It's probably a bit better just to play really fast cycle and have a good time with that. Uh, best Clash Royale player? I'm definitely not the best Clash Royale player. Man, I have a lot of fun, though. I um, uh, love all your videos and your streams. Literally, I had a screenshot when I made it top 100 viewers of the stream. So, uh, proud to good luck of the challenge. Oh, dude. <laughs> You're proud to be the first top 100, uh, first 100 people watching the stream. I mean, there are 740 of you guys watching right now, but that's cool, man. I appreciate that means a lot that, you know, you care enough to do that. Uh, insane mic quality, by the way. Yeah, dude. I, I love this microphone. It's the Shure SM7B. All right. How old are you, if you don't mind? I'm 26 right now. I, I'm still enjoying the game. And no matter how old I get, man, you get, you get to enjoy video games as you get older. It's going to be fun. I'm actually uh, really happy about that. Video games are a nice escape from life whenever things are, you know, you just want to enjoy stuff. It, it's cool. Like yesterday, I guess, uh, all right, we'll talk about that as we win this game because this match is free. Um, yesterday, oh, guys, like, it was terrible. I had the worst experience I've ever had traveling. I talked about it briefly in my pinned comment, but I um, had about 30 minutes of a layover in an inter international airport in Frankfurt. Imagine trying to go from Frankfurt in Germany, and you have 30-minute layover. So when we get off the plane, there's a bus. And I rush off the plane because I'm like, okay, I need to get to my destination. I need to go and parade through the airport as fast as I possibly can. But little did I know, there was a bus that I had to take. And the bus waited for everyone to get off the plane. Literally everyone. So I rushed off the plane, then found out that it didn't matter. And that was a sad sir. I was looking at it. I was like, oh, no, that sucks. So we waited like a solid 15 minutes. I was like, my time is ticking down. Then I was looking at the terminal of what terminal I should be in my passport doesn't say what terminal I have to get, get to. It doesn't say anything. So I was just like, I was looking through the Lutanza app, um, the air, airline that I was going on. And then it was like, okay, Z68 terminal one. I was like, it's Z68? No way. This is at the very end. So I had a huge carry on that I was trying to like, carry on. And then I also ended up having my regular like backpack. And I was sprinting through the airport for a solid 30 minutes. And then I hit a line. <laughs> I was like, hey, I'm about to miss my flight. I'm moving apartments the next day. Is there any way 
that I can just go to the front because I, I can't reschedule this flight. She's like, oh, you must be American. I was like, yeah, I am. She's like, yeah, we don't do that here. Not in Europe. I'm like, oh, no. It's like, you're going to have to wait and miss your flight like everyone else. That was literally her exact words. I was like, this is why we can't have nice things in my head. And obviously, you're not going to be rude to anyone like that, but you're just feeling like trash. You're just feeling awful. You're like, oh, man, I can't believe she's like, uh, she's going to do that. At the same time, I also can't believe that um, like Supercell or the agency or whatever, they scheduled my flight with a 30 minute layover. I cannot believe that that was the case. Um, I checked my flights before. But it changed like last day. They changed my flight on me last day. And then I, I had a 30 minute layover. I cannot believe they scheduled that. Because like for international travel, that should never be possible. Anyway, long story short, I end up going to the, like, I, I, I get real desperate. And I go to the front of the line and I just try to sneak past. I'm like, hey, the way I did it was I, I asked someone and I was like, hey, I'm about to miss my flight. Is there any way I can go in front of you? And she's like, yeah, I, I heard. I feel really bad for you. Uh, go in front of me. I was like, okay, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. Because legitimately, if I missed that, um, I would have missed the opportunity to move into my apartment because I wouldn't be able to reschedule a flight in time. I would be staying over in uh, Frankfurt for an entire day. And I was like, I can't have this happen. There's no way. I was just so stressed. Uh, it was probably the most stressful experience that I've ever had traveling because I, I literally would not be able to move. I wouldn't be able to move apartments like I am today. So um, I, don't know, I don't know what I would do. I was thinking through the possibilities. I was like, I got to be like absolutely not shameless, but put in a position where <laughs> I have to do something I don't want to. I felt so bad, especially when I knew that the lady was going to be watching me. So I had to wait for her to turn her back so that I could uh, <laughs> so that I could ask someone in at the front of the line because I knew like if I said anything and I did anything with, sh with her looking at me, oh man, she would send me to the shadow realm. She would like probably like take me and be like, hey, all the time that you waited in line, you're gonna wait even longer. I don't even know what you would do, but I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to experience it. So that was uh, that was a pretty, pretty miserable time. But anyway, I uh, when I got to the, when I got to my destination. Uh, the only reason I made it was because it was delayed. Despite me being really fit and like sprinting as fast as I possibly could, there isn't a single person on this planet that would have been able to make it. Even cutting the line and running full speed. Z68, my dudes. I was literally at the very end of the airport <laughs> after getting my passport checked and all that other things. It was practically impossible or logistically impossible for anyone to get through. So, yeah, it was a, it was a doomed situation. But fortunately, um, the flight was delayed 15 minutes, allowing me to make it on. And even then, I barely made it. And I, I went there and I was sweating. I had like a, a long sleeve shirt that was like wool because I was in Finland, so it needed to be... Uh, pretty warm and I was profusely sweating and I couldn't even change my shirt I uh, was sitting there with like a really unfortunate shirt that was drenched in sweat while I aborted the plane and then I realized that all of my clothing changes were in my care uh, were in my checked in luggage so I was just I was not in a good time it was so sad so scary uh, the, the situation gets more funny as we go on um, all right, we're going to choose Little Prince because it's broken. As I said before, Little Prince is by far the best. I'll tell you the rest of the story after we do hit this draft real quick. Poison's the best big spell. Always pick that if you get the chance. It's versatile. It does more damage. It counters graveyard. It counters bait cards. It has a big radius, so it's going to give you value over time. Um, he chose Log, which is kind of unfortunate for us. I'm looking through the rest of the cards. There is Miner, so I do like that. I kind of want to go and choose arrows because it does go and counter the firecracker. Let's like make sure that he doesn't get arrows plus log. And if you choose firecracker early on, you already know I'm, I am going to counter it. Um, I do want to pick bowler. I think that it counters the majority of the cards in this thing. I don't think there's anything that's really scary for it. I mean, he could pick monk, but it's not that bad. I can also choose recruits right now because I have the ability to since I chose the bowler. So that's good. I would love to have fisherman here. Yeah, he chose the monk. That's fine. Um, I just wanted to have the bowler because it does kind of counter my little prince. So I'm trying to eliminate counters to the best card in the game. So then he can't really do anything. Um, it looks like he's going for a minor. I mean, he could choose Royal Hogs. He's choosing a lot of splash damage, but it's really not that scary for me. Let's just choose the minor early on because I think that it's an okay win condition to pick. Um, it doesn't seem like there's not going to... I don't think there's going to be that many counters to it. We could also go in for a spicy Lava Hound pick because if we're looking at it, Realistically and pragmatically, the guy does not have many anti-air answers. 
Yeah, maybe we go Lava Hound here. Generally, I wouldn't, but I think that he doesn't have a single anti-air answer. So we could switch it up, go Lava Hound. Or, see, like this last pick, we could go and choose a defensive building. That's the way that I like to play, personally. I like having that last flex spot. And see, you don't have a single anti-air answer. You got a Firecracker, and that's it, buddy. That's all you. That's literally all you have. Wait, what if I choose Bats? Let's choose Electro Spirit. So then he might be inclined to not choose the Bats. So he has nothing. He has no anti-air answers then. He might have Rascals. My dude. My dude. What are you going to do? Honestly. How? Okay. Well, we won this one. We just showed that you wait to the last second, choose your win condition then, and then adapt a little bit. Miner's more of a supporting card, so you can choose it earlier, but you don't have to choose this Lava Hound. You could choose a defensive building or and play like a Miner Control deck, or you could switch it up and run a Lava Hound deck that your opponent can't counter because their deck is flawed inherently. That's kind of funny. All right. We're going to Arrows here. It does clean everything up. doesn't really matter to me. We'll go Little Prince here as well. Generally, uh, playing this defensive is kind of stupid, but I'm going to do it anyway. So yeah, when I get on the plane, I sit next to a father and his father, the father's like, wait, my son is like a couple aisles above me. Is there any way that you can switch spots with him? And I'm like, yeah, you know what? I would love to do that if that makes your trip better. And you know, it's like, like it, it would be sad if the father can't sit next to his son on a 16 hour flight. So I was like, ah, you know, let's do it. Let's run it. So I go and I switch my spot, which is like a side seat, which is ideal, right? I picked a side seat because I don't want to be in a spot where people are going in and out through the bathroom and, or sorry, like I wanted to be able to have the side seat because like I, I, I don't, what is it? I, I don't like being trapped. That's the feeling. Um, and I also don't like going in and out of the bathroom um, if I have to, or, or if I want to stretch, I can stretch my legs in the aisle. Side seat is OP. If you guys feel differently, let me know in the comments, what seat do you go for on a long flight? Side seat for me is where it's at. I'm not that tall, I'm 5'11", but it's nice to stretch my legs because my legs are proportionally longer than my upper body. Um, so that is pretty important for me to be able to stretch my legs and have that happen. And then also, you know, um, just have a little bit more comfortability and not feel like I'm in a prison. Just being in the middle of people sucks. Anyway, I got that prison seat when I switched spots. But that is not the, that is not it. It, it, got, it got a little bit more prisony. As soon as I got into my seat, I quickly realized that the person next to me was sick. Not just sick, extremely sick. This older dude was constantly coughing and sneezing. And I was like, oh man, I'm definitely screwed. This is going to finesse me. Because I just went on a huge trip. A lot of people um, ended up getting sick as well. I was like, there's no way I'm making out of this trip alive without getting sick. Um, especially with this dude coughing 16 hours next to me. And it's just disgusting when you, um, when, when you know what's going to happen and you can't escape it, right? All right. Then someone else wanders onto the plane. Um, <laughs> this person also starts coughing. So I have two people on both sides of me constantly coughing and just not caring at all. These people don't have masks on. They probably shouldn't be on the plane with this level of sickness. It was just hilariously horrible. And it was just, I don't know. I, I don't understand. Like I get like you have to travel, but if you're really sick, you probably shouldn't go on a plane. It's just the most, I don't know, selfish thing that you could possibly do. Not ideal, not ideal. Um, yeah, I dealt with that the entire plane ride. And then um, I was like, okay, gotta upload my YouTube video, right? have to upload this YouTube video. <laughs> I was trying to buy premium Wi-Fi for like 20 minutes. I went on my laptop. I went on my phone. I tried everything. And then I called the person over. I was like, hey, is there any way I can get Wi-Fi? They're like, yeah, it's not working. I'm like, oh, 16 hour flight without Wi-Fi. How can I upload my video? Because I was banking on uploading. This is not Spirit Airlines, guys. This is Lufthansa. Or Luf Lufthansa? It's like a good German airport, apparently, or a good German airline. They didn't have Wi-Fi. So I was sitting there. I was like, oh, no, there's no way. There's no way. Anyway, we'll start the rest of the story after I finish this draft. This guy's got Monk, Rail, Giant, Fireball. Wait, I didn't even look. Inferno Tower is a must here or I lose. Yeah. Wait, he's got Fireball for the Zappies. This guy's annoying. Uh, let's just Inferno Tower immediately. Like, let's just let's just run it. Uh, what other cards do we want? Minor Wallbreaker is pretty good. Zero chance he chooses Minor, though. So what other cards would he pick? Uh, let's go and pick Goblin since he doesn't have logs. It's going to be hard for him to counter that. Uh, I could choose Bandit for more aggression. 
I guess not. I guess not. I guess not. Oh my gosh. Was, I would literally pass out. So let's keep it coming. Dude, I did not pass out. I, I was, um, I was a sad sir. Oh man. Playing without Wi-Fi sucks. Yeah, no, dude, it gets, it gets more funny. The, uh, the experience, the, the travel adventures get more funny. Also, um, I don't think I'd mentioned this, but I started my travel at 2 a.m. I had to get on the bus at 2 a.m. for my 4 a.m. flight. So I had stayed up for the after party at like one. I got like an hour of sleep and then I dealt with all of this on one hour of sleep. <laughs> it was so funny. Uh, all right, let's use wall breakers. Why not? Let's run it. And then he's got bats, which are pretty obnoxious. How do I counter that? I guess I pick zap, right? It can't be bad to run Zap. It's just an instant value because I don't have any other anti-air answers. Might as well run it. Yeah, so we should win this one pretty easy. Anyway, yeah, so we, we went through the flight, right? We went through the flight, got stuck on that flight without Wi-Fi. The next part of the story is the fun part. I ended up, oh my gosh, it was, uh, it was an experience. I ended up like sleeping and <laughs> I, I, fell, I fell asleep. But it, it was kind of a problem because uh, I didn't know like they service you when you're sleeping. I thought like they just kind of left you alone. The the air the airline person chucked a water at me. <laughs> they literally threw a water at me and woke me up. <laughs> I thought I was gonna like sleep through the nightmare, but no, nah, I, I I got woken up because they chucked a, a water bottle at me. <laughs> I didn't even want the water. I just wanted to sleep. I was like, this is why we can't have nice things. There's no reason. So on one hour of sleep, I got a water chucked at me and then I couldn't sleep. It was not allowed. I had to I had to fully experience and appreciate the nightmare that was uh, my life. Oh, man. Also, the person behind me recognized me. They were talking about Clash Royale. So I was like... I, I kind of wanted to say something to the people that were like coughing constantly. I was like, can you please put on a mask and stuff? Like, I wanted to. But at the same time, I was just like, I really don't want to make it like a scene or anything and have the person behind me make a Reddit post and be like, this guy's an asshole. I, I just didn't want to. So I just sat there so sad, dejected, knowing that this, this was what I was supposed to do. <laughs> anyway, the plane adventure finally ends and it's been 16 hours. I'm like, I need to get off this plane and upload my video. Guess what? I wasn't allowed to. There was, there was, there was, there was no universe where I was allowed to escape the nightmare. I ended up, um, uh, the person next to me, he had his stuff sprawled out all over the entire airplane. I'm not even fibbing. This guy legitimately wanted to stay in the airplane forever. I don't know. Um, the, the sick guy right next to me was con like, had all of his stuff like right in front of the seat. So since I was in the middle, I couldn't get out that way. The other person was waiting for the airline attendant to help them like take their bag down because, uh, for whatever reason, like. Their bag was like at a really high spot that they couldn't reach. So, both, and I couldn't get out to help that person. They were just waiting for the airline attendant. I don't know. So I was sitting there for 10 minutes after the plane landed while everyone else got off. I was the last person off the airplane. And I wanted to get off that thing so fast. I wanted to leave that adventure behind, but it wasn't allowed. I was just sitting there forever. And the best part was I was tethering my phone to... Uh, try to compl try to upload my video on like airport Wi-Fi. I was tethering it to my uh, my computer and just trying to upload my video. So <laughs> I was walking off the plane with a computer in the hand and phone in the other and two bags, and everyone's just looking at me like, "What is this kid doing?" Oh, it was awesome. Uh, and, and then when I get off the plane and I upload my video, it was like most of the day had already passed. But oh my god, it was. The longest line I've ever seen in my life because it was coming back from Thanksgiving. So I was FaceTiming uh, one of my friends and I took some pictures and some videos for my friends. I still have it. I can show you guys. But damn, the line stretched from... So you know how there's baggage claim, right? Instead of having a straight line for the passport check-in, it stretched from the passport check-in through the baggage claim areas all the way down all the way down directly to the elevators. I've never seen a line this big in my entire life. Not even once. 
So I sat in this line for two and a half hours after the plane ride <laughs> on like two hours of sleep, uh, facing imminent sickness and dealing with that. And everyone around me was complaining. I'm just like, you know, this is going to be a meme adventure. At least it's a story. I was too dead to complain. I was just, I was just laughing at that point. I was like, oh man, that's too funny. But yeah, I, um, I've never seen a line stretch. So instead of going straight towards it, it was like a loop-de-loop -loop of lines, like uh, a, a zigzag line around the baggage claim area to the elevator. I don't even know how to picture it, but yeah, imagine like there's baggage claim areas and it just kept doing like circles around it. It was ridiculous. So um, yeah, apparently the global entry for the passport you can just bypass everything and go to global entry, but no one had it. And the global entry line was ridiculously short. It was hilarious. I wish that I knew that that existed and I wish that I had that before. But moral of the story is do not travel on Thanksgiving weekend ever or weekday or whatever. Thanksgiving, worst time to travel. That's when Clash Fest, the Clash Royale World Finals was. So it was pretty funny to have that happen. Um, I guess it's nice to have a story like that. Yeah, it's funny. We'll have this story for the rest of my life, you know? Uh, and I learned a lesson. Get global entry or never travel during Thanksgiving and you're going to be fine. So that's the strategy. All right, all right. Um, yeah, we're going to go and choose probably like a Skeleton King here and we'll keep vibing. It's great to see you at the World Cup tournament. What was your mindset when Mohammed uh, lost? Um... I mean, I I think that like Muhammad deserved to lose. His decks were really bad. He picked a Goblin Drill deck, which was awful. It doesn't make sense to pick Goblin Drill uh, into like the stronger cards in the meta. It just it's not really a smart decision. Your thoughts about Mugi winning the World Finals? That was one of the coolest things ever, man. I saw him win coming from the lower bracket, and I saw that and I was like, damn, this guy's insane. He's truly popping off. I'm very glad you survived these nightmare things. Oh, yeah, you know what? You know the thing about Clash Royale and life in general? <laughs> you lose the game of Clash Royale, you can move on to the next one. Yeah, crappy things happen in life. You're still going to get in a better spot later on. You're not going to be screwed for, for life, you know? You'll be set. All right, so let's think about what we want because I haven't been able to think very clearly right now. I think I'm just going to choose Graveyard and then uh, I want to go and choose a building for the Wall Breakers, ideally. So I'm going to go and pick Mortar. All right, I'll be right back one second, guys. One sec real quick, all right? Let's choose the Mortar. Um, and we'll be vibing. I'll be back in like two seconds. Pedro deserved more, but it is what it is. In Brazil, he won a life-changing amount of money. Mugi did not need the money at all. Uh, he was just there for the title. So having that allowed him to pop off and win. All right, be back. Woo. All right, well... We're good. We are good. Moogie the goat? Yeah, Moogie OP. It's insane that it ended up working for him. Um. Alright, let's go here. We're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. Uh alright, we can go poison here and then I'm thinking like my boy speaking facts, yeah. I mean if, if it's not something that's gonna matter, like you can't really change it, so there's no point in being stressed about it for too long. That's the way that I like to see things. Like, I knew that there was nothing that I could do. There's so many people in the line getting so frustrated and upset and angry with the people that were moderating the line. And I'm just like, you know, you can't fix anything. Even though I was furious when I wasn't able to, um, like, the lady literally was, like, saying, you have to miss your flight no matter what. Like, all I, she needed to do was just be like, you know, you can go up here and then you're, you're set. Um, like usually in, in the States, if, if you have uh, a flight that's about to like take off, they will let you get through if there are no other available flights and there's like a, I don't know, if there's circumstances that allow for it, they will generally allow you to get through. Um, if, if, if you're going through something and you need to get to your flight and there's only like one more check-in and it's so close, they'll generally let you through at a certain point. They won't expedite your entire trip. But in the last uh, bit of it, the last stint right before getting on the airplane, they'll let you through because you've already done enough check-ins and they'll know that you're like very close to the um, boarding. But yeah, in Europe, they don't do that. But I, I was furious, but you can't show that. You can't like, because um, it's not going to change the outcome. And also like getting frustrated when uh, you're waiting through customs and trying to get uh, back to the States. 
if you get frustrated, that's not going to help you at all as well. So it's just like useless energy getting uh, angry for no reason. That's one thing that has helped me. Like I genuinely don't get angry at those situations. It's funny because I know that I can tell you guys or tell friends about it. Um, yeah. It, it is a meme though. It's like not fun to go through <laughs> for sure. All right. So Skeleton King is able to kill that. That was a bad Skeleton King though. It should have been dropped off to the side. Uh, I didn't know if it was going to hit both the wall breakers though. So that's why I did it like that. My bad. Look the ability here. Poison on the Musketeer. I don't think that we're in an amazing spot, but I think the Skeleton King might take tower because he doesn't seem like he's got good uh, small spell answers. Hell yeah. Love to see it. We're popping off. Despite not being here at the start, we still won. Get on my level, rascals. Easy. If you guys have any other questions, let me know, though. 100%. Mugi was never in the lower bracket. What? Yeah, he was. Uh, you got to rewatch the stream if you uh, if you don't think he did. Because Pedro was upper bracket. Mugi had to win two times. Mugi had to win two best of threes to beat Pedro. It's hard not to get angry, though. Uh, yeah, it's just life. You know, you get practice. You get practice. You get bad things happening to you. And then that, that's how it works. Um, love your stories. Also, why aren't you playing 2v2? I think it's funny as heck. Uh, 2v2 isn't very competitive. There's nothing in the game mode to make me want to do it. If 2v2 was slightly competitive, if there was a universe where there were more challenges or if there was a rail tournament, it'd be a vibe. All right, so we just chose Poison Royale to jump without even looking at the rest of the cards. I can also go and pick Log here as well. Poison Log is awesome. Um, what NFL team do you like? I don't watch the NFL at all. <laughs> it's also good that you said um, NFL instead of football because football can mean soccer and then people would get confused. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's a good distinction to always say NFL when European people watch as well. All right, we're going to choose Skelly's here as well. Are you so good? I've played a lot, you know. I've played hundreds of hours, man. In the 20 win challenge, I did over 700 games. All right, we're going to pick Skeletons. We're going to choose a fast cycle here. Uh, I'm going to pick Dark Goblin since we have Log. He doesn't have any way of countering that, so might as well just take it. Musketeer, it's looking like he might go for... I don't know, like giant skeleton, skeleton barrel. How do we want to maneuver here? Pick spear goblins. Fast cycle is nice. And then monk or mighty miner. Probably mighty miner. There's no great reset that he has. He's got zap, but that's not incredible. It's not like it's going to finesse me because he's going to have to zap on top of the spear goblins. We choose goblin barrel. And then a spell, or then a building. Yeah, let's just choose Tesla and Furnace Tower uh, with Goblin Barrel. Let's choose Goblin Barrel last card so he's not really ready for it. I could also pick Graveyard if I wanted. Graveyard might be better. I don't think the guy has any answer to Graveyard in his deck, so let's just choose that, actually. Mighty Miner Graveyard. That's what's up. You see my $5 donation? I... Wait. I did. I did. I, well, I just saw it. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. Do not donate more money to um they did you see the other donation because I feel terrible that way. Um type in the chat and I'll I'll generally read it. I feel really bad, dude. I wish I could refund you the two dollars. Thank you so much for the donos and the support. He says, Can you make uh more Yu-Gi-Oh! references in your videos, please? Dude, I love Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! I grew up playing it. I went to Hollywood video every single day and I bought a Yu-Gi-Oh! pack. And that was the highlight of my day. Also, I uh, I ended up in, in third grade in Mrs. Smith's class. I ended up playing Yu-Gi-Oh! with all my friends. And uh, we did that during recess and lunch. Some of the kids ordered their deck so they would draw a very specific card combination. And then they would play it. And they would cheat. And then they would get some like unrealistic uh, situation where they would be able to potentially win when they didn't deserve it. It was super funny. I was like, yo, Donovan, what are you doing, dude? Why do you have three blue eyes white dragons in your hands? How... You're telling me right now you're going to merge them together with your fusion and you're going to get the most overpowered thing firsthand. Something's fishy here, bro. <laughs> He's like, nah, Jake, it's, it's, it's kosher. It's chill. I'm like, nah, you, you definitely cheated. <laughs> so that was funny. I, I have very nostalgic memories from that. Yu-Gi-Oh! is awesome. You guys let me know what card games you guys played growing up because, I mean, Clash Royale is a card game. comes to life. N let's see how nerdy y'all are. If anyone's more nerdy than me and played Yu-Gi-Oh! and did tournaments when they grew up like me. Also, yeah, thank you so much for the donation, Super Saiyan guy. I appreciate that, man. 
it's always nice to get your guys' um, feedback and questions because it's cool because it unlocks different memories. I totally would not have thought about the Yu-Gi-Oh! experience unless you guys brought it up. So, thank you, man. Magic the Gathering. I heard Magic the Gathering was really cool. I used to have a friend until she didn't like me anymore. <laughs> that played Magic the Gathering and tried to get me into that. It was fun. Um, yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Evolution Sneak Peek? And also when I said friend, it was like a legitimate friend. Not like a girlfriend or anything like that. Um, can I get a hey? Ayo, what's up, Valorant? What's going on, dude? You're in the wrong game, but I do love you. Also, my friends are trying to get me to play Valorant, and I've refused because I hate shooter games. I'm so bad at them. I only play strategy games. Pretty much. Moral lesson is you can't go through at an airport without suffering. No, that's not right. Um, my plane ride uh, to... My, my plane ride was really good before. I think you have to adjust expectations. I just didn't have the expectations of it being that bad because I've never experienced anything like that before. My expectation was like, hey, maybe I'll be like 30, 40 minutes late. Maybe I'll be a little bit stressed. Um, I didn't expect my plane... I had like a two-hour layover. I was chilling. I didn't expect my layover to get changed from two hours to 30 minutes. Whoever was in charge of responsibly like changing that flight, oh my gosh, Supercell, you need to you need to reevaluate whoever is doing that because that was awful. Um, because I think if it's your job to book flights and stuff, you should probably know that like international airports at least an hour in between flights 100 percent. like you have to have at least an hour in between flights um that, or they're maybe just like extremely um i don't know maybe maybe they think that i, I i'm capable of raging myself in real life because i went to the clash Royale world finals i stole rage from supercell headquarters and then i started moving faster maybe they thought that that was the case i don't know <laughs> <laughs> they had supreme confidence in me. As a kid, I thought flights weren't stressful, but my parents remembered differently. Yeah, always go early. TSA and customs, two sections at any airport that are totally out of your hands. They can make your trip miserable if they want to. Glad to see you made it back. Yeah, dude, I'm glad I made it back for sure. Um, oh, he chose Little Prince. Wait, this is bad for me. Oh my gosh. Let's pick Arrows. I didn't even get to look at all the other cards. I'm just choosing Arrows Log. Probably going to choose a lot of bait cards. Maybe Goblin Drill, Arrows, Log with Recruits. Because there's no bowler. Yeah, Goblin Drill, Recruits. I really want Recruits here. Really, really, really want Recruits. Mighty Miner won't be a bad champion to pick. Oh, I forgot there was a Barb Drill. Okay. Hmm. Rascals are really strong as well. I think Rascals are one of the most underrated cards in the game. Not many great cards here to choose from. I want Goblin Gang though, badly. I don't know if I'll get it. Oh, he chose it. Dang. I wanted the cannon cart too. Uh, he's triggering me right now. He's getting me. There's not much splash damage. So I think choosing recruits early on might be a good play. Yeah, let's just run it. Let's choose recruits early because they do counter a lot of the stuff here. Mini Peck is fantastic at countering little princes. Well, it one taps it. So that's a, a good card to pick. It's also good against all the other win conditions. So let's just choose it immediately. You can't choose guards because I have log and I've got arrows. So what is he going to do? Real question out here. This could be good. I mean, my deck is going to be extremely aggressive. Yeah, let's just choose Goblin Drill because the Bomb Tower is not going to counter that. The Wall Breakers would get countered by that. <laughs> what? I said you couldn't and you wanted to prove me wrong, sir. Okay. <laughs> I love it. The audacity from this man. That's funny. That's really funny. Rascals are good. Let's choose them. We want anti-air defense anyway against the potential Lava Hound. Because remember what happens when you play against Lava Hound with no anti-air. Not fair. It's not good. All right, we're going to choose minions and we're going to choose Goblin Drill as our last two cards. As you guys can see, he has no answers to minions in his entire deck. I don't know what he's doing. I actually, I, I genuinely, I don't know what he's doing. He doesn't have a single anti-air card besides the Little Prince. The Valkyrie's a bit obnoxious, though. All right, let's choose our minions. Do I go Miner instead, instead of Goblin Drill? Because he's got Valkyrie. I might as well go Miner, honestly. Miner's more guaranteed damage. The Goblin Drill's going to get countered. Yeah, let's go Miner instead. Let's run it with Miner. We could choose E-Barbs, too, and like not have a win condition. But I feel like that'd be really stupid. 
<clears throat> All right, let's see how this goes. I feel like this could be good. Big fan, my boy. Are you at your new place yet? No, I'm not. I'm actually leaving tomorrow. I'm excited. Well, today, tomorrow, same thing. I'm staying up really late and I'm going to make it happen. I am so stoked for that. I'm so stoked for that. Wait, I, I reflexively dropped my recruits in the back first play because I want to speed run the evolution. I'm conditioned to play it this way now. Dude, that's wild. We're wilding out here. I'm going to click the ability, hopefully. Uh, maybe the worst miner of my life. Maybe not. We'll have to wait and see. At least the Valkyrie's dead. So it takes two logs to finish off a Magic Archer. If you don't know, now you know. Wait, that positioning was prime. It only hit a Rascal. It didn't hit the uh, girl Rascals. That's pretty funny. We crush a Cannon Cart too? Yo, Rascal's OP. That was Night Elixir. And our opponent was defending it too. That's a cannon card and a magic archer. Nine elixir for five. That is superb. All right, we're going to go recruits in the back. He's got his miniature recruits as guards. Remember, he's not going to have magic archer in cycle. He only has little prince. So if he goes little prince, he's actually going to get finessed by minions. I bet you goes little prince off to the left. Let's make a prediction with a minor. Oh. It's a bit annoying. That was well played on his end. That was actually quite well played. We not get the damage we want at all. Royal Giant, so I kind of don't want to cycle anything stupid. Clicks the ability right into Rascals. Waste of your ability. Get at me, bro. Easy. Light work. That was huge. Let's go Fire Spirit. If you didn't know, the Little Prince does not one-shot Fire Spirit. It doesn't even one-shot Goblins. So, good. It's good. All right, we're going to go Rascals plus Recruits Counter Push. Unlock the true potential of the mischievous girls. And we're popping off. This is going to be a good game. Nice. Arrows here as well. Out of sight. Out of fright. We're going to go in with all our might. As I said before, minions are really good when our opponent doesn't have answers to them. Like, what is he going to do? Drop guards? That doesn't work. Like, you're still going to take damage. A lot of damage, too. And then we go recruits in the back because we want to keep momentum. With recruits, if our opponent is able to go for a Royal Giant, it's bad for me. It's just I don't have a building. So I'll take guaranteed damage whenever that happens. But I don't think I will take guaranteed damage often because he's not going to be able to have the ability to do that. Arrows on the bomb tower to finish it off a little bit faster too. Dude, Miner is so good. It's just such a reliable card that you can get value from every time. Minions off to the right. Mini pack as well. We pull back the Valkyrie here with the Fire Spirit so we don't take that much damage. Wow, he just lost everything. He's going to get some damage with the Magic Archer, but that doesn't even matter. Go recruits at the river. Keep up the pressure. Why is everyone spamming questions? Oh, it's good that they're spamming questions, dude. If it wasn't, if there were no questions on a live stream, you know how boring it would be for me? This is the reason why I do live streams. It's nice to interact with you guys. It's nice to talk to you guys. It's nice to chill with the community. Very fortunate and lucky to have the people that we have here. I, I would hate to, you know be a robot and only play Clash Royale at all points in my life. That's not me, man. I love this game, but I also love the community too. And that's part of the reason that I've been doing Clash Royale for as long as I have been. If uh, if you think about it from this perspective, if there's no community with the game, then guess what? You're probably not going to play very long because you're not going to have friends to play it with, right? If there's no one that you're watching playing the game, there's no one to keep you connected to the game, right? You guys probably have played the game longer if um, if you haven't enjoyed it. Because you've been watching streamers or YouTubers. Whether it's me, B-Rad, OJ. Probably watching people and enjoying the game a little bit more than you typically would. If you don't enjoy it. At least for me, that's what I did with StarCraft 2. I stopped playing the game. And I kept watching pro players. And I kept watching Tastosis. Uh, Artosis and Tasteless. Uh, in GSL. I watched that all the time. Even though I stopped playing the game. I constantly watch whatever they're doing. It was so much fun. How many wins are you aiming for? Uh, I don't know. I'll just win every game uh, I play with this. And then uh, I'll probably end around like 15 or 10 wins. Somewhere around there. I'm not going to get to the difficult point where I play at 20 or 30 wins most likely. Who knows though? Maybe I will. I always say that and then I play way longer than I should. Every time. It's funny. Alright, we'll just go mini packet. We'll go arrows on the guards. And then I think the fire spirit finishes him off. Ah, uh, not ideal. I would love to take more than one tower, but 
We're not going to be able to do that. This is going to take one. Let's go. Saw you at the World Finals. Hey, let's go, man. You streamed some other game like Riley did on here. Um, I know I did. Oh, yeah. We streamed with Riley. It was kind of fun. Make a StarCraft 2 video? I might on my second channel. I don't know if you guys would enjoy that. I think it'd be pretty cool. All right, let's keep running it. Let's keep running it. I haven't played since 2018, and yet I'm still here. Hey, I love seeing that, man. It's so cool. So cool to see people in the community vibing with me from that long period of time. All right, we're going to just choose our poison because it's the best card to pick. Always gives us value. It's a safety net, you know? It hits air. It hits ground. It's a vibe. Would you say that you're addicted to the Clash Royale community? Oh, definitely. Definitely. And that's a good thing for me. I'm so addicted to Clash Royale and just chilling with you guys. Also, did you guys see the thumbnail? Did you all see that picture of me? Isn't that incredible? Professional photographer at Clash, uh, the Clash thing did that. So many people decided not to do that. But I was like, I'm going to take full advantage of this. I'm going to take as many photos as I possibly can. So I have like 30 or 40 photos for thumbnails now. So you guys are going to see some spicy content from us. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy that whenever that happens. All right. Let's go and choose Spear Goblins. I like choosing fast cycle cards just because it gives me the opportunity to talk to you guys and not really care. Um, generally, I would be... Mm, oh, wait. Are there counters to Inferno Dragon here? I don't think there are. Yeah, there really aren't. I'm going to have Lightning, but I don't really care. I'm fine. This doesn't even matter, man. Skeleton King about to be broken up in here. We could choose Mortar. We could choose Miner. Definitely pick Miner. Maybe Mortar here is my last card. Mortar's a great card. That's really fun. Also, because there's no evolutions, champions are actually great now. Champions generally are outshined by evolutions, and champions kind of suck comparatively to evolutions. But because there are no evolutions in this game mode, evolutions... Uh, oh, wait, why did I... What am I doing? I chose mortar into earthquake. I, I I didn't I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Oh no, guys. We're trying to make life hard. We're trying to give ourselves a bit of a challenge. I would have chosen Tesla. I would have chosen Tesla. Or maybe not even because he didn't have anything super scary. He's just got goblin barrels as win condition. Guys, I messed up. I bamboozled myself. It's okay. We're going to fully focus in this game because I do not want to lose. This goblin barrel gets full counter by these goblins if I dropped it fast enough. And I did. Look at that. Full shutdown up in here. Oh, no. That's a full shutdown of my mortar almost. How many hits? Two? Three? I don't know this interaction. I guess we'll find out if I get a third. Do I get a third? Come on, brother. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay, I get way too hyped up for a third mortar shot for no reason <laughs> whatsoever. I don't have to spend any elixir there. I know my calculations. Inferno Dragon's OP. Don't mess with me. I was watching it slowly unfold, peeking through my fingers. Oh, dude, you saw that? You saw me pick the mortar? You're just like looking at it. You're like, oh, this idiot. What is he doing? And then you opened up your eyes and you, uh, you're you trying to hide from my bad decision for me. You got like third party embarrassment. Wait, does he actually just lose everything here? No way. No way this man got finessed. No, I got finessed. Oh my gosh, I got finessed. Maybe I didn't though. One more shot, one more shot, one more shot. Baby Rage never lucky. <laughs> uh, where can I watch the stream that you did with Riley? Uh, the microphone quality was absolute garbage. Absolute garbage. However, you could watch it. It's my latest stream. So on this YouTube channel, SirTagCR, if you guys aren't already subscribed, subscribe because I do do streams and content every day at 3 p.m. Eastern. After you subscribe, go click on my channel, go to the live stream, and then it was my uh, stream right before the Mega Draft. So I think it was like November... 23rd or something, November 25th. That's when I did a live stream. All right, let's just poison here so the Inferno Dragon starts melting this man's dreams a little bit. Wait, that poison was kind of trash. All right, we have to focus up a lot more now. Wait, that was definitely not it for him. Do this. Minor afterward. We're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're vibing. We're cruising. And this man's about to get bruising. Hopefully. All right, we're going to wait for our, skeleton, or our goblins to die so we can unveil more skeletons at him, and I think we win. Skeleton King has got that vacuum cleaner where he bonks through whatever your opponent's units are, and it locks onto the tower. It's so fun to do that. 
Skeleton King is so good. It is really like an S tier card in this game mode. When you have a, a bait matchup, when you're playing bait versus bait, Skeleton King is who you appreciate. All right, we're cooking, we're cooking, we're cooking. Oh, we are cooking with a poison on the witch. All right, let's do this. Wait, Golden Knight, not... Yeah, Golden Knight's the worst champion in the game by far. I was asking pro players, and they were just like, yeah, I don't play it. It's trash. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, same. I, I feel you. Wait, why would he lightning on that? That's not ideal. He's going to skeleton army, and it gets pre-snowballed? Oh. Oh, tell me that wasn't spicy, guys. Tell me that wasn't satisfying. I knew exactly what he was going to do. We hit him with the snowball, and the snowball had a rock in it. He got his world rocked out here. He's trying to play snow fight with me. We did not play nice. Yo, Rob! Thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate the support. Why do you like Skeleton King so much? Well, Skeleton King has a broken ability. For two elixir, you unveil a graveyard right next to the tower. It's pretty good. It was still a fun stream to watch, though. Yeah, but the audio was so bad. I'm not going to lie. After I ch uh, checked it out, I was like, I would never watch this. <laughs> Because the audio was so bad, so I didn't do it again. I was going to do another live stream with Ian77, but I decided not to because the audio was so bad. The microphone was it was absolute trash. Uh, they should have got a like plug-and-play USB microphone instead of something like uh, a headset microphone. I'll talk to them about it next time. Or maybe I'll just bring my own mic. Yeah, I'll just bring my own mic instead of being spoiled and asking them for things. It's probably better. See, you think things through in your brain. You're like, ask them for things and be spoiled or bring your own stuff. Probably bring our own stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, I learned that. Anyway, let's go for our Dark Goblin here. Because we have logs, so Dark Goblin's going to be pretty strong. <laughs> oh, this is going to be an adventure. Not the good type either. Not the good type for me. Oh, man, am I going to lose? This is actually really bad. I don't, I don't think there's any counter to this. How am I going to beat it? We, we have to choose Rage. We have to choose Rage. We have to steal that from him. There's no splash damage. I think I lose. How am I going to cook? He keeps spamming good game. He's BMing me already. Oh my gosh. I got to choose Inferno Tower for the safety, guys. Maybe Monk? Maybe Prince? Maybe Archers? What win condition do I pick? Like Royal Hogs so that I can bait out the Fireball? Yeah, I think we do that. I think we cook with Royal Hogs. And then we can choose Barbarians too because then if he Fireballs the Royal Hogs and he can't kill them. Archers are decent. Skeletons are good for a faster cycle. Counter the E-Barbs. Yeah, that's just two Skeletons. Alright, we have to cycle Bowlers and Bombers like a crazy person. Bowler and bomber like a crazy person. That's what we're running. That's how we're, win we're going to win this one. My deck is pretty bad. Also, Colby is undeserving. Donates the $5. I'm undeserving of the, the support today, man. You guys are incredible. For real. Thank you, man. I do not think uh, I told you this. I, I think I did. I'm not at my place yet. I'm not at my new place yet. Very, very soon. A wiser tag once showed me that Battle Healer is OP. Battle Healer is a fun card, man. Conceptually, it's one of the coolest cards in the game. When you're not playing against it and you're using it yourself you love it but when you play against it oh man it sucks oh he gave me the well played because he ended up uh getting huge value so he's bming me i think all right we can go bomber here it should be able to pull All right, does that hit the other bowler? The Oh, it hit the other E-Barb. Let's go. I, I think I actually did play that well. Semi. Even though I gave him fireball value with two cards. Oh, please. I think that was kind of stupid. Why did I rage that? Hmm. Yeah, if we melt the Elixir Golem, then it retargets on the Battle Healer. Because the Battle Healer is the next thing that it sees. It retargets on Battle Healer here. That's huge. Because now the Battle Healer can't heal up the rest of the Elixir Golem. So even if he fireballs, we're fine. And then, because he doesn't have fireball and cycle, we can go for royal hogs. BM back if you win? No, I'm not going to BM him. It doesn't matter. We don't BM people at like 10 wins in a royal tournament, man. 
I will BM someone at like 20 or 30 wins if uh, if I know them and they're BMing me, then I'll do it maybe. Um, but I'm not going to BM casual players. All right, what do we do? We can go for skeletons here maybe and then see what else we can do. Uh, watching from the gym parking lot, waiting for my homies to get out of school. Hey, dude, right now for me, it's uh, it's one o'clock. So I guess it's four, uh, it's four for you. So you probably just got out of high school. That's sick. All right, so we can cook a little bit. We can definitely cook a little bit. I'm gonna go Royal Hogs right so we can force out the fireball maybe. Oh, he fireballed on the wrong side. Pretty good for us. Let's log so we can kill the battle. Oh, I didn't need a log. I think we're fine. We kill the heal spirit and then we go skeletons afterward. Go bomber after. Yeah, we're totally chilling. Go Dark Goblin here. He's going to fireball. That's good. Go Royal Hogs, actually, because we do have the Bowler. He's going to go E-Barbs into this. He has to. Oh, if the Bowler stayed alive, that would have been hilarious. That would have been way too funny. He has to go split lane pressure. He can't do that. You can't do that. Duh, 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 duh. Maybe you can. I hope not. <laughs> I need another bowler down in stat. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please give me another bowler. <laughs> Please, sir. All right. We're going to go in for a bomber here, and we should be able to go in for a rage and win the game. He should not have anything left. And he's left over with nothing. Light work. <laughs> Make three musketeers every time you see him in the challenge. Yes, sir. Woo, 10 and 0. Light work today. We're popping off. Hell yeah. All right. So the guy's going to choose Megadite. He doesn't want to win. That's uh, that's what I realized. <laughs> uh, always, 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 always choose the Little Prince. If you don't know, now you know. Little Prince, best card in the game. Very strong. Why is it always the people that have no skill that BM? That's not true. I don't know if you saw, but I lost in the 20 win challenge to someone that was ranked 12 in the world at my 20th win on stream, and he BM the heck out of me. So that's definitely not true. That's a huge coping mechanism if you say it's the person with no skill that always BMs. Lots of really good players BM as well. They're just not super nice. All right. This guy's deck is pretty awful. I'm going to choose skeletons here for a faster cycle and see what other uh, mutations this guy's guy is going to pick. We always want to choose uh, counters to their mutations. As a 2.8k trophy player, I wouldn't use Little Prince, says Silly Man. As a 9k trophy player, <laughs> I would always use Little Prince. Uh, I'm also top 800, t top 800 in the world right now, so um, that's significantly higher than 8,000 trophies. Skeleton Dragons, pretty strong card. Nice to have more Fireball Bait here. Always want to choose Mini Pekka to go encounter that. And then... I'm thinking I just get away with a Miner because we don't want to really try to break through an Inferno Tower. There's no reason. Miner Cannon, probably. Yeah, let's run it. We could also go for a, a giant skeleton as well for more of a, a beatdown-esque play. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> oh, he chose it! Oh, he finessed me a little bit. Okay. How about I just assert utter dominance out here and run it? How about how we just do that right into Royal Hogs or right into a Mega Knight and say I don't care? I think that's a little bit more fun. <laughs> Uh, Alright, let's do that. That's how we roll. Goblin Cage is kind of underrated. It, it's a good card. It's a good card. I like it a lot because I play Royal Hogs. Or, yeah, I play Royal Hogs a lot, so. Good with the Goblin Cage. It's good against Mega Knight. It'll give me Counter Push. It'll counter the Wall Breakers. It's a vibe. I'm going to wait a little bit with the poison. Hopefully we can catch something else. I want him to drop something else into it to stop the mini P.E.K.K.A. Okay. Kind of what I was hoping for. We'll cage here. I wonder if it full counters both. I think it does. I think it stops the battle room too. Nice. Perfect. 
Look at me go, guys. We're popping off. Easy. Light work. And now no Mega Knight in cycle, so I think he might be dead. He might have already lost. No Elixir either. All right, what defensive card are you going to drop? No bullet. Nice. GG, dude. Uh, that shirt goes hard, sir. Hey, I'm glad you like it. It looks pretty preppy. Uh, I actually get flamed by it a lot. Um, one of my friends, she says it looks awful. She's like, you're too preppy. But hey, man, you got to like what you like. I, I like it. Next time, bring your own setup. Yeah, I'm going to bring my own setup. And I'll do games against pro players. I'm going to bring a microphone setup. So then I can give... Like, I'm going to basically finesse OJ's setup and do the exact same thing. That's the vibe. Because if I do that, then things will be great. We're going to activate King Tower here, too. Light work. Firecracker is going to be a bit of a nuisance. I could snowball on it. I don't really care that much anymore. Hit the miner. Cool. We're fine. So, are you pro? I, I played this game professionally for a while. I won $5,000 in King's Cup 2. And then I decided I don't want to play professionally anymore because matchups matter so much. And it's a huge waste of time to play professional. You were 200? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm top I'm top 800 in the world right now. That's what my rank is uh, on my main account. I can show that right after this, if you guys haven't seen that before. But yeah, I finished 88 in the world before. I finished 21 in the world before at the end of the season. Um, right now, I just kind of play for fun. How are you 800 in the world, but still able to beat top 10 players professionally? Uh, because they could be better than me at the game, but I can get a good matchup or play better than them in a specific match. Just like a top 1,000 player, um, can beat a top 200 player pretty consistently. Um, they just need a good matchup. You need a good matchup or the top 200 player to play slightly worse than normal. Ranks don't matter every time. It's just, I don't know. It's like an, it's, it's, it's a way of assessing things. It's like school, right? If you look at someone from Harvard, for instance, they're likely going to be pretty smart. But are they always really smart? No, not all the time. Sometimes they got into Harvard because of daddy's money or donations to the school or because they're really good at a sport. Sometimes they're really smart and they got in through academic uh, achievements and they earned their way in. It's it's cool to be able to see that and make the assessments, right? Sometimes for ladder, people will end up one tricking a deck with really overpowered cards and they will hit top 10 in the world with like Goblin Giant Sparky Rage when Goblin Giant is extremely unfair. Or when uh, Lava Hound clone, there was a bug where the clone cloned up cards and the cards became real cards. And people played Lob Hound during that. And they got really high ranks. They didn't deserve those ranks at all because they were literally using a cheat system. And they were actually cheating the game to get those ranks. Abusing a bug. So sometimes that happens. Also, uh, sometimes people don't play as much as they used to. And then they become worse at the game. A lot of things like that. Yeah, you guys were wondering. Okay, I guess I'm top 1,000 right now. But I was top 200 before I left for Helsinki. Um, before I left for Finland. And then, as you guys can see, I did finish um, 88 in the world before. Was, and 21 in the world as well. And yes, that is the deck that I'm using for ladder right now. That Royal Hogs deck with uh, archers. If you guys want to see a full video on this deck, the deck that I'm pushing up ladder with, check out the pinned comment. I'll have a link to that video. And I'll have a link to show why this deck is so broken. It's so much fun. And Evolved Archers are the best card in Clash Royale right now. Um, but in this game mode, in Mega Draft... Little Prince is the best because you can't get evolutions. I've managed for a while. I got 15 and 5 in the Mega Draft for the first time. Thanks for watching. Oh, dude. Hell yeah. I'm proud of you, man. I'm really proud of you. Getting those ranks is always a vibe. All right. We're going to go and choose Little Prince right now and we'll keep going through. Let's keep killing it. Is Classic Logbait Tesla dead in the meta? Uh, Classic Logbait Tesla. Hmm. It's not dead dead. I mean, you can run Evo Skeletons or Evo Knight, and it's not bad. Uh, I don't think the Barbarill is really that smart. I don't know why I chose it. I just didn't want him to choose all the small spells. I don't know why. <laughs> he wasn't going to choose it. He already chose his other two. Royal Ghost is going to be broken. Royal Ghost is going to be broken. I want it so bad. I need the splash damage. Royal Ghost is needed. It's a necessity. Okay, cool. Thank you. Royal Ghost is hard to counter here. Gonna have to choose beatdown cards, probably. I mean, let's get a mini pack as well, because we've seen him go for Electro Wizard and Golden Knight, which get countered by that. Ice Golem as well. I don't know what direction this guy's going. It probably is Balloon, though, if I had to guess. 
I could just choose three Musketeers. If he goes Balloon, I choose three M, right? Yeah, it's going to be Balloon. Uh, Mortar Goblin Drill. Mortar's the best. Uh, It's the best building here. It's just a safe bet. I could choose Royal Hogs. He doesn't have splash damage. Yeah, let's run Royal Hogs. But then he's going to go Fireball. He's probably going to choose Fireball right now. And then I don't go three Musketeers. There's no way. There's no way he picks Fireball, right? Uh, he'll pick Fireball if I 3M right now. I think it's okay. I think we run it. Make him run three spells. Screw it. Three spells now. Dro go drop your Fireball. Come on. Your other spells are going to be useless. Oh, he's actually just screwed. He can't win. Side seat. Yes, sir. Am I shadow banned? Nope. I can see you. Everyone like the stream? Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate you telling everyone to do that. If you guys enjoy the stream, you guys can always like the stream. It supports me for free. Uh, it allows these videos and streams to get pushed out to more people. Then, obviously, if I can stream more, you guys will see more content. And uh, hopefully better content because it gives me more money, allowing me to invest more money into the content. Then the videos are better. They're higher quality. All right, we're going to Royal Hogs on the left. We're going to go click the ability, and that should be a dead executioner. Wait, what? What happened there? Why did my Little Prince, like, pop out and then get damaged, and you saw it get damaged? That was weird. Okay, everything just dies. It's fine. I think this guy just randomly clicks his ability. I don't know what he's doing. We'll take it, though. Do you play any other games? Uh, I like Pokemon Showdown. I like TFT. Thank you for reminding me. I do have to play TFT with some friends. Um, just got back, you know, I ended up going to BlizzCon. I went to Finland. I'm moving apartments. I have all these things happening right now. So very crazy month. Super crazy month. I keep getting destroyed by level 14s in Executioner's Kitchen. Any tips? Yeah, so my best tips and best advice for anyone that's getting destroyed by lower or higher card levels, play in global tournaments like this. Play in classic challenges. Play in all the game modes where you have even card levels of your opponent. And it's more fun that way. This is how it should be. And use your free gems and classic challenges. Always play these global tournaments every single time. Play the special challenges as soon as they pop up. And you'll unlock new cards as you progress. And if you're having like a three card level disadvantage, and you're like level 11, and you're playing as level 14 cards, I can't give you advice on how to win that because, I mean, I can. And you guys can go and watch my under level ladder pushing. You can type in Sir Tag, under level ladder, and it'll show you how to win those matchups. But is it fun? Is it sustainable? Not really. Like, you can do it. You're just going to be a little bit miserable when you lose to people way worse than you with higher card levels. Clash Royale is intrinsically a little bit pay to win from that perspective once you are not really spending money at all and you're playing against people that have played the game for years. Because obviously their cards and their level advantage will give them a big benefit. Um, and that's how all games are meant to be, right? At least all the mobile games. There's always going to be a pay to win element because the game has to make money, right? They want people to spend money um, so then they can create all the updates and everything. However, I don't like how aggressively they monetize level 15. I, I think that was terrible. So, um, I wish that they would monetize things and they were just like straight up about it and be like, hey, we have to make money because it's a game, but also like not do it in the way that they did with level 15. That's just my preference. I don't know about you guys, but that's the way I like to see it. Always putting three musketeers in the back. I played this game completely on autopilot. Did not think even one bit. This was way too easy. So we're going to go in for a Royal Ghost on top of the Executioner. We'll go in for a Mortar. We've got Mini Pack, but we've completely countered his, uh, his win condition. So he has nothing for the Royal Hog. Splitting the three Musketeers enables us to constantly apply pressure. Little Prince is the best card in this challenge or in this mode. So just dropping in the middle. When it stays put, it does more damage over time. So let's talk about the Little Prince's mechanics because not everyone understands what the Little Prince does. Its ability, you don't want to just be dropping it randomly. You want to drop it right before it crosses the river. So then you can have a tank for the Little Prince. If you have a tank for the Little Prince, then the Little Prince, because it does so much damage over time, it will probably give you value if you just drop the ability before it crosses the river. It's great on defense, but you have to line it up perfectly with the card that you're trying to push back. Because if the Little Prince is off to the side and you're trying to push back an Electro Giant, it's going to clip the Electro Giant, but it's not going to push it straight back in a straight line. Oh, no, 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 I dropped Ice Spirit. Oh my gosh, why did I pick Ice Spirit? Why did I do that? Um, please don't pick Little Prince. Please don't be good at the game. Please have no clue of what's going on. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, guys. I just maybe tossed this game in the trash. I don't know why I did that. 
That was terrible. That was legitimately the worst decision I could have made all day. It's okay. It's fine. Sir Tag, I have a crush on you. Be my husband, please. <laughs> I'm not marrying for a while. I'm sorry. Uh, w Ice Spirit? No, that was the worst Ice Spirit in existence. Okay. It's okay. It's okay to be a fool sometimes. All right. We got to go and pick Miner so we can go and catch the, uh, the princesses. Wait, I, I have the worst draft I could have picked. Legitimately. I don't think this could have gone any worse. Wait, I could pick Elixir Collector and then there's no big spell, right? Besides like Lightning. Let's choose Elect Electric Spirit as well and just run Elixir Collector Mayhem. But with what? But with what? <laughs> Graveyard Freeze? Graveyard Freeze could cook. Maybe. Wait, I have Miner. Why am I thinking Graveyard Freeze? Uh, Mortar? Mortar Miner? With Lightning or something? Yeah, let's just do that. I don't know what direction this guy's going. I don't know what wind condition he's going to pick, but it's fine. I could also pick Giant Skeleton or something. I, I probably want a big spell, honestly. Skeleton Barrel ain't bad. Um, Mini Pekka is phenomenal against all of his cards besides guards, so let's just choose that. All right, we've got a weird deck. We don't really have a big spell, but it's fine. I think we can make it work. Wait, do I not have a single spell in my deck? I'm an idiot. I'm actually stupid. This is the worst draft I've ever picked in my life. What am I? I I'm, I'm trying to make it harder for myself, guys. We just want a challenge. I said I wasn't going to lose on stream today, so I'm going to try to find a way to lose. I'm trying to manufacture that loss. I'm going to try really hard in this game because, again, I failed. Don't draft like this. Don't be an idiot. Stay in school, guys. I think you lost, buddy. I think so, too. <laughs> Mom, pick me up. I'm scared. Oh, this is bad. Wait, he cycled his Tesla. He's in a bad spot. He needed that Tesla to go encounter the mortar. That was really bad on his end. Skeleton King is going to tank for the mortar. Little Prince is going to be a nuisance for sure. All right. Probably some of my worst gameplay ever, but it's okay. Always calculated up in here. Oh, how did that hit? How did the Skeleton King hit the princess? I actually don't understand. Click the ability because he doesn't have login cycle. Electric Spirit on top of the, the guards. Chain, chain, chain. How did that work? Guys, I might win. <laughs> I believe in the outplay potential. Yeah, dude. Just need big brain plays. I think we need huge brain plays. All right, he's going to go with Tesla. Predict it with a mini P.E.K.K.A. No! What? What's happening? I don't understand. Well, that did not work out for me, actually. That was kind of bad. Why did he do that? Out of all the possible plays, man. Okay, I mean, it worked. We have a Skeleton King counter pushing, so that's a vibe. Rogue Ghost about to put in mad work in the left hand side. Split lane pressure. Dark Prince dies to two elixir ability. Skeleton King is so good. It's such a good card in this game mode. There's a lot of people pick bait cards, and the Skeleton King is pretty thick. His splash damage is OP. He's like a better Dark Prince. Just straight up a better Dark Prince in a lot of situations. All our cards are going to die, so might as well collect them with the Skeleton King Souls. We don't have a big spell. If I had Lightning, this would have been an entirely different game. We have to drop everything here and hope it works. I'm 
I'm dead. Yeah, I can't kill the Dark Prince. Unless I can. He's got a spell, right? He's got a log. I lose. Yeah, no way. I didn't have any way of killing the, the, the stuff that was all stacked up. Bad gameplay on my end. I should have chose Lightning. If I had Lightning, I won that. My man, we need a Witch deck. <laughs> you can type in Sir Tag Witch and there will be a Witch deck for sure. Double Elixir, your opponent might crush you. So try to get uh, the, before that upset. I know. Double Elixir did finesse me. I had nothing. I had no spell, so I couldn't remove all the stacked up stuff. That was my fault. I had no splash damage and I had no spell. Little Prince isn't that OP. Uh, you need to reevaluate your eyes. If, if you don't think Little Prince is OP, then you do not understand the game at all. It is very overpowered. It is like the best card in the game that isn't an evolution. So that's saying a lot. Hmm. Well. Using Fisherman here will be pretty good. I'm going to have to focus up a little bit because that last game was bad. How was Helsinki? Helsinki itself was incredible. Seeing all the people that I played on ladder, seeing all my friends, it was a great time. I would say like it's a 10 out of 10 for me. The actual trip was a 10 out of 10. But the uh, travel was like a 0 out of 10. So, interesting. We're going to go Goblin Giant Lightning. That is definitely the play. I don't see any other universe where anything else makes sense. Choosing lightning here so then he can't steal that from me. And then the Dark Goblin might be annoying, but I also have the chance to play Tornado if I want. Zap is also okay. Pick Bomber. Um, I think that running Monk here is actually a vibe. Oh, definitely picking Monk now. Thank you, man. We could run Monk Battle Healer. <laughs> I'm going to choose Inferno Dragon, though. Inferno Dragon, Zap, um, Monk. I'll be the play. And then we'll pick Zap as our last card, and then we should win. We've got Anti-Air with the Inferno Dragon, Lightning. Um, and it's not like he's going to pick Lava Hound here. Should be light work. Um, Golem is OP in this game mode. Golem's pretty good. Not going to lie. Golem is pretty good. Golem do be pretty good. Zap should be extremely beneficial against bats if he picks it. I needed to have the zap in case he did because their Inferno Dragon would get finessed. So that was the best card. It also was a nice reset. You think Little Prince will possibly get buffed? No. If they buff Little Prince, I'd quit the game. Because then that, that means that they don't understand the game at all. They would never do that. <laughs> I know you're saying that as a troll. It, it, I just want to say, like, hypothetically, if they did make that bad of a choice, that would show that they don't understand the game at all. They would never do anything like that. All right, we're going to go in for... Wait, the bomber ended up hitting the... Ow. It hit the bull, uh, the bar barrel. It was really weird. All right, let's Inferno Dragon to the Mega Knight. And then we could Lightning afterward, maybe. If we want to, we could Lightning. It's a lot of Elixir, though, so it's not necessarily the best play. If he drops something else nearby, it might Lightning. I was hoping that we could zap on top of the Dark Goblin and finish it off. Fisherman full counters the Wall Breakers if you drop it like this. It just needs to hit the first Wall Breaker instead of hitting the second one. If it fish slaps the second one, then the first one's going to go lock on your tower. And then the Fisherman can't even kill the second one by itself because it needs the tower to help. Oh, it didn't kill. I think if we zapped a little bit earlier, it would have. Because then the guards would have stayed alive. All right, let's just finish it off with the Goblin Giant. That should be one shot. doesn't really matter if our tower finishes it off or not. And we're vibing. Hey, Tag, how was your day? I just woke up, man. So it's been a really good day so far. It's been a really, really good day so far. I got 19 wins. Congrats. 19 wins is a vibe. Remember, no bats. So we can just Inferno Dragon here without any hesitation and get a good trade. And then we can go Fisherman since it will pull the Dark Goblin afterward. And then we kill the Mega Knight and we stop the Mega Knight from jumping. Nice. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. He's got wall breakers and drills, so. The drill isn't that scary. The wall breakers are, though. If he dropped it in quick succession with the drill, I would have had to go, like, monk and then zap. That would have been a lot of elixir. 
Tertag, if you find someone to marry, I will be your best man. <laughs> Dude, you guys... <laughs> Y'all want to, like, ship me off in an arranged marriage or something. It's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys are the ultimate wingman. It's hilarious. Oh, it's too funny. I'm so far away, man. So far away from anything like that. All right. We're going to go for a fisherman. We should be able to go and pull the magic archer. Look at the monk ability. Oh, oh, look at that. Did it work? It's reflecting everything for a little bit. I mean, it was cool. It reflected the bowler shot and the magic archer, right? That's a vibe. And then we pull the Mega Knight away. Fisherman is S tier in draft. It is literally S tier. It pulls off miraculous wins. For real. I'd say Fisherman is top tier. Wow, look at that value. All right, we need Lightning to take the other tower. So I kind of want to take the left hand tower right now so that I can take two at once. Please. Please, sir. Let me have a second tower. He's not going to give it to me. GG. Sir Tag is 41 years old. That is a fallacy, sir. That is very false. All positive vibes and positive elixir trades is Danny. Danny, good vibes all the way. All the way out here, man. You know it. All right, all right. What evolution should I unlock at Master 2? Um... I think Evo Knight, Evo Archers are some of the better ones. They can be used in almost any deck. Poison does full counter in Little Prince, so we're going to go and take that. Is there a small spell for me here? Is there really no small spell in this entire thing? Well, goblins are broken then. There's not a small spell. There's no small spells in this, in this uh, deck pool. That's crazy. At least 38? No, dude, I'm, I'm 26. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Y'all are wildin'. Oh, you guys are like trying to guess my ladder rank or something. I don't know. Uh. Okay, okay. Skeleton dragons are really good. I just generally pick them if um, I'm feeling good about myself out here. Bowler is going to be phenomenal at countering the little prince. So we're going to choose that. I could pick Archer Queen, but I don't really care. Archer Queen is okay. It's kind of good with uh, cycle decks, but I don't really have a cycle deck. Uh, do I pick Archer Queen? I think it's one of the better cards available here. I really want to pick um, Goblin Giant Lightning again, so I think that's the direction I'm going. Wait, <laughs> I can't pick Lightning. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Wait, I can. If he's got all single targeting cards, I can pick Lightning still. I could do it. Can I go Goblin Giant Lightning right now? I really want to. I think it'd be hilarious. Lightning Poison. Dude, I'm going to do it. I'm going to run it. I'm going to run it. He's not going to expect it. He's not going to expect it. There's no shot. He's not ready for the sauce. He's not ready for the juice. He's not ready for the juice. <laughs> this Lightning... Is going to give me permanent value in this game. I'm telling you right now. This might have looked like the dumbest decision ever. But saving that for the last possible card. Y'all are about to see what nightmares are made of. This is going to be worse expedition for our opponent than my airport travels. He's going to travel directly to a loss. I'm so ready for this. It was really funny. This lightning value is going to be insane the entire game. I'm not going to do it right now, but I can. Bowler is going to be better. For sure. So let's run that. It locks directly onto the Little Prince and everything else. He could go in for a Goblin Barrel, but we've got Goblins. So then it's a plus one Elixir trade. And we get Counter Push. He doesn't even kill the Archer Queen. He loses everything here. And the Archer Queen gives us an ability for free. This is going to be huge. He's going to Valk on this. I thought he was going to Valkyrie. So that was bad on my end. That's fine though. We still kill the entire mini Pekka. Mini Pekka out of cycle. No mini Pekka in cycle. We go bomber. We go for Goblin Giant, right? Probably a good play. How does he defend? I forget what his cards are. Like, I don't think he has anything. He should have Valkyrie. Yeah, that's what I thought. Think about it from a pragmatic point of view. You have Valkyrie. Why don't you draw Valkyrie on the Little Prince or on the Archer Queen and save your mini Pekka for the Goblin Giant? That's what I thought he would do. So he didn't do the play that I predicted. 
and then he got punished for it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's that's one of the cool things of having that happen. You see the CRL finals? Yeah, I was there in person, man. I got interviewed on the last day. It was cool. Stretch the game, bro. Uh, I don't need to. This is easy. I've got Bowler and I've also got Goblins, so cool. Against the Goblin, bro, I shouldn't take that much damage. That was a good play on our opponent's end. I don't think the Bowler hits. Oh, it did. Okay, cool. Mini Packet pulls it back. Easy. Light work. Archer Queen ability. Shred the other tower. Light work. Yes, sir. Unless he hits a fireball, he's screwed. Lightning takes tower, so. I don't know how much poison does, but I know lightning does. Poison definitely takes tower now. I want to take more than one. Do I let him take a tower so I can get multiple just for the, the uh, content? Maybe. I want the other one. No, let me take it. All right, I, I get this. I think I get it. I think I get it. I think I get it. Please, sir. Please. Give me the last shot. Yes. 2-0 victory. Dominant display. That's what we like to see. BM him. I'm not going to BM someone. I already won the game. You don't have to kick someone when they're down, dude. You already have the win. Why be, why be mean? Why do that to people? Oh, Brandon played. I'm surprised he plays. Love from North Carolina. Yo, I've been there before. North Carolina and South Carolina. Um, my grandparents were there. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. Y'all are wilding. Oh, man. I did not look at my hair today. I, I do not know if it was crazy the entire stream. Hopefully it wasn't. All right. So he chose arrows. That's annoying. That is, that is annoying. You are a menace. You're a menace to society. I like picking Inferno Dragon. It's a fun card. Let's pick Fireball for more value. There's no resets for Inferno Dragon, so I just picked it immediately. Make sure he can't get value with that. No, uh, no Giant Skeleton, no Mega Knight for you now. Um, probably going to be a bait deck. Yeah, it's going to be a huge bait deck. So let's choose Skeleton King when I get the opportunity to. As soon as I possibly can. Uh, giving me your po positive energy? Yeah, dude. 100%. Yes, sir. <laughs> when are you celebrating 43? Tomorrow, dude. I'm going to celebrate my 43rd birthday tomorrow. I'm going to go to Cheesecake Factory. They're going to give me a cheesecake. It's going to be awesome. Easy. All right. Probably just a bar bro because it does kill Firecracker. All right. What do we want? What other strats? Um, what, what do you think you'll be doing in your 30s? No idea, man. Uh, I have a pretty nihilistic sense of life where, you know, you kind of define your own existence. You define what you like. You define your own purpose. And, you know, that's the point of life. You do what makes you happy and you define what you want to do. And I have no clue what that's going to be, but I do know one thing. I'm still going to be doing YouTube in some capacity. Even when I'm 40, I'll still be uploading in some way. Maybe it's not going to be daily, but it'll still be some content, you know? I'll still be interacting with you guys for the rest of my life. Um, I love this community and I always want to, I don't know. I always want to be chilling with you guys. Uh, I love what you do. Yeah, dude, you got to do what makes you happy. Have to. All right, so the guy's got cannon. Choose minor, right? Might as well. I mean, choose another win condition later. It's nice to have that because then we can set firecrackers. I'll be run recruits, honestly. What do we do? We run recruits or we run a mighty miner? I don't know what direction this guy's going. If only furnace was good. I mean, he doesn't have fireball. <laughs> How troll can I be, guys? If I choose furnace, y'all are going to be like, you're an idiot, right? You could choose earthquake if I do. Let's just go recruits. 
What's the last card? Because we don't really have anti-air, do we? Besides an Inferno Dragon. I guess there aren't many air cards. We could run bats. He's not gonna he's not gonna go for arrows on them. No one goes arrows on bats. Three musketeers, right? Might as well. Let's run it! <laughs> Three musketeers are fun, man. How do you feel about the current state of mortar? Mortar's really good, man. I don't know if you saw it, but Pedro played it a ton. He is a mortar one trick. Uh, like that's his main deck. But he did play it in the world finals. So it's good enough to be played there. It's good to be enough to be played anywhere. And he even ran the mortar evolution. I would say that the mortar evolution is not one of the stronger evolutions in the game, but he likes it. So would recommend. All right, we're just going to do a trade and we should win the game right now. Unless I'm crazy. Right, I win, right? No, I don't win. I'm crazy. It's a me, a dead skeleton king. That's gonna give me one more shot. So I didn't win the game, but I got up and I got up in damage. Okay, I lied to everyone, but I'm still winning. I, I think that's a good trade. I'll, I'll lie to you guys every time if I can win the game. I think we're fine with that. Easy king tower activation. Oh damn! Why did the fire spirit have to jump? Bro, you had one job. All right, drop stuff. Spam, spam, wham, bam. I bridge spam. Okay. Well, we're no recruits. He clicks the ability. He loses his mighty miner. It's fine. It's okay. Um, <laughs> the purpose of life is to prepare yourself. Um, okay, I mean, whatever it is for you, it's different for every everyone else. You know, that's the beautiful thing about it. You know, some people really enjoy doing vacations and love, 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 love spending all their time making memories, taking photos, chilling with friends. Other people really enjoy sitting inside playing video games and getting the highest rank in a leaderboard. Sometimes that's actually fulfilling for them. Like Asmongold, if you guys know who he is, he'd rather get the biggest accomplishment in his games in Blizzard instead of like doing vacations and having fun from that perspective. And to force a, a like viewpoint on other people, it's just really crappy. So everyone's able to enjoy things themselves and enjoy what they like and that's the beautiful thing about life that's how it should be um some people really value academics some people really value sports you know whatever fulfills you specifically that's how it should be Do your editors work for hollywood i would like to take some of their creators master classes <laughs> my editors do not work for hollywood they are phenomenal phenomenal editors i went through thousands of people to find the people that i'm currently working with um and I mean, they're really high achieving, incredible people that are excelling at their craft, but they do not work in Hollywood. All right, we're gonna go for a fireball here and then see what else happens. Loved your games, pick again Furnace. I'm not picking Furnace. I, I mean, I could make B-Rad happy if I picked the Furnace, but I'm not gonna do it. Also, I haven't focused at all because I know my matchup is so good. <laughs> I just keep splitting three Musketeers and it's like, oh, what am I supposed to do? You're supposed to sit there and suffer, sir. <laughs> okay. We're going to go in for a miner on top of the firecracker. We're fine. We trade decently here. We get an arrows out of him. The firecracker doesn't even kill the muskies. And then he has to spend more elixir. Constantly keeping up pressure with recruits and three musketeers enables you to get great offenses. Put a skeleton king in the side that he wants to go in. Protect the right-hand side with the Skeleton King and then three Musketeers. So notice how he wasn't able to drop anything in the right-hand side. And then when we dropped three Musketeers, he still wasn't able to drop anything in the right-hand side. So you get that, like, order of operations where you're constantly protecting the weaker tower while controlling the map with recruits and three Musketeers. And if we're the only one that goes on offense, then he isn't finding opportunities to get damage. You see how that's a problem for him? Even if he's trading here and he played that well, he still isn't getting an opportunity to get damage on our tower. Which is the scary thing for him. Meanwhile, we're going to go for Fire Spirits and then go for Three Musketeers again. And we've got the Inferno Dragon protecting our right-hand side. We can go for Three Musketeers here. We can go Barbarrel. We have a lot of good things going in our direction. Well, that's a graveyard. It's really not that scary, though. It did nothing. <laughs> it legitimately tickled me. All right, we're going to Fireball on the Cannon Cart and also the Firecracker. Also, could not be me running Graveyard with a uh, Firecracker. That's really ambitious. Like, you almost think I'm bad at the game to be able to do that. Like, you have to expect me to be bad for that to work. GG.
Do you like to move it, move it? Dude, I love to move it, move it. We're chilling. Chat is so cringe, and so are you, Tag. Yeah, dude, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It's okay to be cringe a little bit. It's okay to have fun in life. Major question, does pineapple belong on pizza? Does it belong on great S-tier pizza that's Italian? Nah, man. You are hurting the Italian uh, culture. <laughs> if, if you ever put pizza and pineapple together on pristine Italian pizza, you are a disgrace. However, that's not necessarily how it is for everyone. For me, uh, I do put a pineapple on regular pizza from grocery stores. So it really depends. It truly depends. Also, guys, never pay attention to people that like troll or anything like that. It doesn't matter. Never get riled up about that. You see me, I don't, I don't really care. It's fine. You have to expect that. There's 1,700 people watching us live. So there's going to be like one or two people that want to troll. And that's fine. It is what it is. Don't, don't worry about that, guys. Never worry about that. I'll read some comments like that, the cringe one, because it's fun to respond to. It's fun to just like give a comfort. Like it's fun to talk about to you guys because a lot of times, um, I don't know, there's something that you can get from it. Like if you talk about cringe, it's fine because everyone should be able to do their own thing in life and enjoy what they enjoy. But sometimes when it's just direct hate comments, I don't read those because those are not good to give attention to because if you give attention to it, then people do it more often. So you guys as well, you don't give attention to real hate comments. Um, they just get deleted and the people get banned if there's ever stuff like that. Like, let's say someone drops like a swear word that's extremely offensive. I'm not going to say it even. Um, but yeah, like, let's say they say that. Then we just ban them and we don't give them attention because that's what they want. Right? That's how it should be. Uh, what's your greatest achievement in life? Ooh, I don't know, man. It would probably have to be something related to YouTube, honestly. Right? That's that's what it would have to be. Uh, let's do Spear Goblins. Because my YouTube channel, I mean, that that's huge, right? 600,000 subscribers. Um, I got inside the Google Play Store. I was front page of the Google Play Store. That was huge. I think that was definitely one of the bigger ones. Having my face on the front page of the Google Play Store is not something that I expected to happen. So that was a vibe. All right, we're going to choose Barbarians because there's no Fireball for him. So that's good. And then probably a Giant Skeleton Cannon. Uh, let's choose Royal Hogs and Barbs, right? Yeah, Royal Hogs and Barbs is probably where it's at. The Barbies. <laughs> Let's go Barbie. I, I kind of like calling the Barbarians, uh, like the Barbers. They're going to be chopping through the Goblin Giant, giving them a, a nice a nice cut, a clean cut, if you will. It'll be a fun time. OG Minor Control with Evil Archers and not Ewiz. Maybe it could work. Um, anything with Evil Archers works pretty well. I personally prefer cards that apply pressure directly on the tower, like Rail Hogs, though, or a Hog Rider. Because if you think about it from this pragmatic point, you have a card coming at your opponent. They're going to be forced to respond to it immediately. Whereas the Miner, sometimes they ignore it. Sometimes it's dropped and they drop something in the back to counter it. And then you can't counter it or snipe things with the Evil Archers. With the Evil Archers, they'll snipe things for the Rail Hogs or the Hog Rider. Like, for instance, if your opponent's dropping a building, you can snipe the building with the Evil Archers and then get more value with your win condition. I personally prefer getting more value with my weak additions. This might be extremely bad for me. I guess I'm fine. Goblin Giant's a little bit unfair, but it's not that bad. Since I picked Barbarians and Little Prince, this guy does lose the game. Sometimes, you know, you just get a better matchup than your opponent, and that's a vibe. We do vibe with that. I'm gonna get Spear Goblins here, so then it locks on the Fly Machine, ideally. Uh, that'd be cool. Did we kill the Royal Ghost at that? No way. Oh my gosh! Pure luck and absolute devastation and pain for our opponent. That was brutal, my man. Imagine. Imagine having an entire push deleted by Fire Spirit Spear Goblins. Could not be me. And then because we have the Little Prince, it's nice to be able to have the recruits protecting the Little Prince if he goes Goblin Giant at the river or something crazy. Spear Goblins OP. Spear Goblins got really good after the buff. Because now they attack from a further range than they used to. If you guys are an old player coming back in the game, Spear Goblin's range was increased. They're really, really strong. Also, identifying that there was no fireball in the pool of cards means that we just get massive value with Barbarians. Let's split it up because we do want to counter the cannon cart. Don't want to have to spend any extra elixir on that. He might go for a rage. Yeah, I figured he would. Oh, that's rough. He played that extremely well. 
Well played. I might have lost because he played that so well. I hope not, but that was insanely well played on his end. All right, we're going to focus up for the rest of the game because I don't think that I should lose this. Go Royal Hogs in the right. I think he loses his tower anyway. And he doesn't get the counter push that he's looking for. Because he doesn't have Fireball, so he loses the full HP tower. The, the confidence that I have is I know what cards he has. I've memorized what his deck is. I know what we can and can't do. I'd rather take a full HP tower at 1,500 health than a 600 HP tower. I'd rather force him to go into us. That was such a good rage. I made the prediction on his rage. I knew he would do it. I just decided not to care. I don't know why I didn't care. Probably because I'm commentating and playing with you guys right now. I played all the games in a row. Since these games are so long, one of the things that I would recommend as well, if you're playing in these uh, global tournaments, a lot of the times you're going to get a little bit tired, mentally fatigued, and possibly not play your best as the games start to escalate and escalate. So I would really recommend you guys taking breaks in between and not being like me and degenerately spamming all of the games at once. If you degenerately spam all of the games at once, there's a chance that you could throw. All right, we're just going to get barbs down and clean this all up completely. So we're fine. Barbs are broken. Barb's going to give you the barb cut. All right, that's good. The Royal Hogs here. If you drop Royal Hogs right there, all of them go towards the tower. Every single one of them. Piggies! Piggy power. <laughs> all right, that's what happens when you get outplayed from the matchup department. He got outpicked, so he lost. All right, let's get to 20. I think we'll get to 20 wins, and then we'll call it a day. Yes, sir. Uh, I like when you call Goblin Giant Shrek. It has me dying of laughter every time. I feel like it gets old after I say it enough, but I, I, you know, if you like it, I love it. I love hearing that, man. Choose Snowball. There aren't really many arrow cards here in the pool. There's no Firecracker or anything to abuse. The Snowball will be better. Is there a Lightning? Man, these spells are terrible. There really aren't good spells here for us to choose from. Snowball was the best one by far. Like, no one's going to pick Rocket, right? Surely. Surely, you would never pick rockets, sir. All right, Fisherman's goaded. Fisherman will pull all of the win conditions. Definitely want the fish boy. Hook me up with some value, fish boy. Okay, that was a bad joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, no fireball, so I guess Royal Hogs might slap. Let's choose Barbro and Snowball, because that's kind of goaded. The Barbro is a really, really beneficial card, since it can go and snipe the execution or push things um, back with the Snowball. And Why are you doing that? What's wrong with you, Toxic Truffles? Sir, you just chose three small spells in a row. Do you even know what you're going to do with that? I, You know, your card cycle is going to suck. I'm going to choose the cycle cards and you can't do anything now. <laughs> I mean, it should be fun. It should be fun. I'm also going to choose Inferno Dragon. He's going to go Balloon, so we want Inferno Dragon for sure. Inferno Dragon, well, okay, well, that's that's kind of unfortunate. Let's go Fly Machine because there's no way to kill it. Royal Hogs are probably it. How's he going to finish that off? Like, how does he kill Royal Hogs? Maybe Mighty Miner and then Royal Hogs, probably. I mean, I like what we have. We've got Snowball, Fire Spirit, Fast Cycle, Fly Machine. I can now play anything. It doesn't matter what he picks. The Mighty Miner is great because it will counter Royal Giants or Wing Conditions. What? Sir, 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 sir. We have to talk about what you just did. You legitimately chose a Minion Horde into a Mighty Miner bomb. My dude. My dude, you're wild. I've got Fire Spirit. I got Snowball. I got Mighty Miner bomb. I can't. Arrow's delivery for Royal Hogs? Sure. You can spend six elixir and get a negative one trade and not counter it. That works. Does he not have... He doesn't have a win condition. Okay, sure. I guess I win. That's fine. Probably a Sparky player. No defense. Dude, I don't understand. I wish I could make sense from this, but I'm going to be making some wins. So. Also, his card cycle sucks. He has no cycle cards, so let's just do this. That locks tower with fly machine. That's so worth. Absolutely finessed. There's nothing he can do. Wait, we can activate king tower here with the fisherman because he doesn't have tornado. So let's just do that. 
Unless the Executioner dies. It might die. Yeah, it dies. Feels bad. Uh, how about we don't do that? <laughs> oh, gosh. That was so funny. He's going to go delivery. We could snowball on it. Bomb tower. One of the piggies went towards the tower. Oh, my gosh. Delivery bomb tower. He overspent seven elixir on five. Gets literally zero counter push because the rail delivery dies. And then he has to go for an executioner that we can pull with the fisherman. No, he's going to drop it in a spot that I can't pull. It's going to lock bomb tower. No ball on the executioner? That's fine. Spear Goblin's off to the side. He could rage it up. Oh, fire Spear. No, he's not back to rage. No delivery in cycle, no rage, so he has to go Xe. Fire Spear jumps tower. Aw, oh, Spear Goblin's still got a shot, though. Let's go Royal Hog's other side and then have a full HP Executioner that we can eventually activate King Tower with. Let's drop our Fisherman early so it starts to start his hook before the Executioner gets a shot. So I think that the issue that we had, the Executioner shot, and since the Executioner was already attacking, it had to do another attack. So that's what we want to do. We want to make sure the Executioner has not released its first attack. So then it, the first attack guarantees hits the Fisherman. And even if the Executioner is like, I don't know, damaged down a little bit, we can still activate King Tower. So the, we, we basically messed up because I dropped my Fisherman slightly too late, is what I'm trying to say. Everyone has a misconception that the Fisherman is like not necessarily that good against air as well. Fisherman can pull air too. Look at it. You guys didn't know. Wait, yeah, I'm just trolling, by the way. You, you you all know that, but I just wanted I wanted to make that cringe joke, all right? Fisherman pulls all the air. It's not fair. All right, we're chilling. We go for a fly machine here. Fire spear, maybe. What are those? That's not good. Barbrill, spear goblins after. Real hogs, right? No ball, so we push the executioner away from the pigs, and then it locks left, and he's dead. So easy. Wait, how does it still hit the pigs? That doesn't even make sense. All right, let's go for a fly machine here. I think sometimes people panic and they just pick the wrong cards. So we're just going to wait for the bomb tower to die, and then we're going to flow through with all of our stuff. Fire Spear jumps on the tower. Ooh, baby. Yeah, he's over defending like crazy. Probably an Inferno Dragon on that. All right, we're a snowball. We don't get through, but it's fine. It's okay. Wait, what if I do this? I push it. Push it, push it, push it, baby. Maybe not my best work, but it might be enough. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> uh, we know he's going to go Executioner Delivery Bomb Tower, but... Okay. He's just making this game go longer, man. Why? I haven't eaten breakfast yet, so I might mess up and throw, but I don't think it will happen. There's always a chance. All right, let's do this. Try to cycle multiple sessions of Royal Hogs, I guess. I think that's probably the play. Just cycle multiple Royal Hogs and try to win that way. I'm just too impatient, man. He doesn't have Bomb Towers. So he's got to go Delivery. He should lose. That should be it. Please just let me win! Stop it! <laughs> was his win condition legitimately make the game as long as possible just to prolong the time period? I think that was it. How much Twitch sub can you add me on the Clash? Uh, yeah. I mean, you have to go to my Discord. Discord.gg Discord slash SirTag. Discord.gg slash SirTag. And when you do that, you can have a ticket. And when you do a ticket, then we'll give you the friend link that way. All right, uh, we've been vibing out here. It was that or minor. Yeah, we're doing pretty well, man. We're doing pretty well. All right, let's run log. 
Any plans to drop merch? Oh, dude, merch would be awesome. Oh, it would actually be pretty spicy. Not gonna fib. That would be cool. I would enjoy that. Let's run Skeleton King because it is the best champion here. The other ones are okay. They're just not as good. Arrows, poison. All right, fine. That's that's totally okay. He's choosing minor already. Um, I could run Lightning Hog Rider. Not really a bad decision. Or Goblin Giant Lightning probably is the better play. Let's pick Ice Spear for a faster cycle. And then do Gob Giant Lightning most likely with um, Royal Ghost. Maybe Prince actually. Prince looks really spicy right now. Galton King Prince is really cool. There aren't that many distractions. So I think the Prince might be great. Um, He might go Minion Horde, actually. That would be smart of him. If he picks Minion Horde, he's really smart. I don't think he will, but he could. We could go for Royal Ghost, as I said before. Just a good card to pick, since we want more splash damage. Breakfast is overrated. <laughs> You're so good and helpful for Clash Tips. I'm happy to hear that. Yo, stream, I know. We're killing it. You didn't use uh, Barbrill at all last game? I don't remember, man. All right. We're just going to go and choose our Goblin Giant and Lightning and win the game, hopefully. Or Hog Rider, depending on what we're feeling. But Lightning's really good to break through Bomb Towers, so. Glad that you dodged getting sick. And Ian made it sound like several got a bug. Uh, I mean, I'm not out of it yet, bro. We have no clue if I'm going to get out of it or not. I think I just pick E-Giant and Lightning. E-Giant will be good on defense against the... Uh, yeah, I guess we go E-Giant. Kind of have to, right? I'm not going to show that I'm going to pick E-Giant because maybe he would go... I don't know. Maybe he'll go Inferno Dragon. I hope he does. I think we win this. Should be a W. Hmm. Great. Let's go Gob Giant. I have to make outplays. I don't think that the uh, I don't think the Electro Giant will afford the ability for us to make outplays. I forgot that he could pick Pekka. I didn't even know that Pekka was a possible play. So I think I have to get damage in single. So let's go for a little. Uh, let's go for Prince. Let's go for Skeleton King. We've got Counter Push already. So we're gonna have to play really well. I'm actually gonna full focus in this game. Go Royal Ghost right. He's gonna minion hoard this. He goes Pekka. That's fine. The Electro Spirits. It doesn't pull the Royal Ghost. That's no, it does. How did that pull? How the heck did that pull the Royal Ghost? That was really lucky. That Electric Spirit should have died. All right, Pekka is out of cycle, so we could go Musketeer here and then go Gob Giant. This will be good. Really good Ice Spirit. All right, we're going to go Prince because we want to apply pressure a little bit faster than Gob Gianting. If we break through the bomb tower with the Prince, then we can go in for our Goblin Giant after at 5 Elixir, 6 Elixir. This should do a lot of damage. I think he might be dead. That was a that was a really bad miner. He shouldn't have elixir to stop this. He should be dead. That should be game. That locks tower when he has because he needed to eat the prince damage, but he's not good enough to know that. So that's why he lost. All right, that was definitely a skill skill uh, advantage for us. Um, just wanted to highlight that really quick that you can still win bad matchups if you're better than your opponent. You just have to find opportunities to spam them. Because if he didn't drop that miner. He would have had enough elixir for something on defense. And then he would have been fine. I'm not going to click the ability. That would be stupid. Let's go Royal Ghost to ke keep his elixir low. Pekka again. So he's probably going to Pekka Minion Horde. We have Ice Spirit and we've got Prince. I don't like this card cycle, but I can Musketeer again in the middle and be okay, I think. And if he goes in for a terrible miner, we do end up having this. Go Prince. Eat the damage on the Musketeer and then have the Prince kill the P.E.K.K.A. I think I played that perfect because the Prince doesn't even take uh, any... Oh, trash. I'm going to get Minion Hoarded. Oh, uh, I guess he didn't have Elixir for Minion Hoard because he dropped the Bomb Tower. I did not make a prediction. I got really lucky. If he Minion Hoarded straight up, I would have probably lost the game. We have to kill the Minion Hoard as quickly as we can so we're going to Ice Spirit and Gob Giant. And then we could Lightning. I bet you goes P.E.K.K.A. though. I'm not going to. Delta King early to get the Spear Goblins. And go for a Musketeer here as well. Let's go Prince first. Let's go Musketeer afterward, maybe. Nice. 
Ooh, he does not know what he's doing. That's good. That's huge value. This matchup is really bad for us, by the way. I'm sure you guys can tell, but it's obviously terrible. Because he should be able to minor poison and get damage every time. I don't know what that was, but that was funny. Down a lot of elixir. Should lose. Some skeletons should lock tower. Or a lightning, because we want to get the goblin giant on the tower, or get the spear goblins on the tower, anything. Nice. Good damage. Not enough for us to win, but... I need two logs and a lightning might do it. Drop this in front, force out extra elixir. Nice, we got a bomb tower out of him, that's huge. Not a card that he wants to cycle. I actually don't know how much... Does, but guess we'll find out. Might have lost. I can't kill the minion horde. Oh my gosh, I can't kill the minion horde. Dang it. I think, I don't know how much two logs plus two lightnings. So 58 times two. Nah, it's not enough, right? Because it was like 490 something. How much does two lightnings do? And one lightning. Yeah, it wasn't enough. It would have been like 400 and uh, it would have been like, it would have been like 420, 430. Would have been a bad loss. Minion Horde just completely countered me there. I had nothing for that. Ah, oh, it's all good. Prince gets value. Yeah, Prince gets value, but I should have went opposite side, I think. If I spammed in the opposite side and I took the tower there, I would have won the game. As soon as he pekka'd, I needed to go opposite lane because I wasn't able to defend the minion horde. I had nothing to counter the minion horde there. That's why the Electro Giant might have been good, but I don't know. Yeah, I think if I had if I if I had E Giant, I would have won that game. It's just hard, because like I thought the Goblin Giant would allow me outmaneuverability. Like dropping the Goblin Giant when I was at zero elixir was huge. Just had nothing for that minion horde. You know who Spicy Toast is? No idea. Skill issue? Uh, maybe. Maybe I I think going opposite side, as I said before, possible way of winning. You always learn and uh, understand what you could have done better from each game, though. It was tough, though. I played a lot better than him at the start, and I did play better than him throughout the game, actually. I literally lost because I didn't have an answer to Minion Horde. Um, but there still is a skill issue from a standpoint, if, even if you play better than your opponent, you can always play better enough to win. You know? That's the way that I try to look at things. Because, like... Is that a frustrating loss? Yes. Is it an unfair matchup? Yes. Did I have anything for Minion Horde? No. Could I have drafted potentially better to get something for Minion Horde? Maybe Wizard. Maybe something else. He would have three crowned you if you just had beatdown instead of control. Huh? I don't, I don't think you understand how to play the game if you think that's the case. If he played beatdown, he would not have three crowned me. Uh, he would have lost because he, wouldn't, he needed the bomb tower for the goblin giant. He needed the bomb tower. All right, um, let's choose goblins here as well. Faster cycle. Oh, he chose Electro Spirit. Damn, I meant to do that. The bat, the the goblins are bad. Minor wall breakers. It is, I guess. Um, yeah, minor wall breakers. It is. He's probably going to pick like Mega Knight or something. Yeah, let's just run this. And then we can pick Delivery if we want. There's a lot of different things I could do. Sheesh. Um, what are we going to get? Okay, so we got Monk. Yeah, let's just do Delivery. Let's get like a really safe deck. I don't need a building. The buildings are trash here. There's no Tesla. There's no cannon. So I don't really want like a uh, Spear Goblin Hunt. It just doesn't really appeal to me. It's not like he's going to go and pick Balloon or anything. So we're fine. The delivery will save us against Sparky anyway. All right, we're fine. Ooh, this guy finished 35 in the world. Okay, we literally have a challenge right now. 
This is the first game where I think that the opponent is probably better than me. So that doesn't happen typically uh, until I'm like a little bit higher, like 20 wins. Then I'll start playing as really good players. But we are playing as someone really, really, really good right now. 35 in the world. Click the ability right before it crosses. One wall breaker connects. Got hog rider, so. Oh, that didn't activate King Tower. I thought it would. Oh, it did. He might be dead. We'll see. Hopefully the ghost goes back on the miner. Yeah, that's what we thought. Get wrecked. That's so much damage. He's going to get another shot on the ghost. Nice. All right, with the king tower, I think we're fine. No damage? Ah, oh, one hit. Not bad. Yo, Aiden, I will read that right after. I don't want to lose against this guy, so I'm trying my hardest here. I'm actually focused. You guys don't see this very often. You don't see me like this. You best believe we are full focus right now. With the ability. Oh, it didn't tank. If that started tanking for the little prince, he would have lost. Possibly. Guards are better here because the Skeleton Dragon is a single targeting card, as you guys can see. It does not target multi <laughs> multiple things. <laughs> is it funny? Is it derpy? You already know. With Goblins, I think we full counter. Hog Rider's not going to get hit. Actually, the Goblins are better than uh, Bats in this situation, specifically. I didn't expect that to be the case, but it is. Nice. Fireball doesn't kill. You have to drop more than that. No! What? That's so unlucky. Oh, I got screwed. Oh my gosh, I got screwed. That's so unlucky. That's so unlucky. Oh no. I would have forced the monk ability way earlier. I might have lost off that. That sucks. Hopefully both these connect. We gotta keep up the pressure or we lose. I lost. Unless... Wait, that's going to connect. Alright, we're just going to keep going. Please, let's go! Holy dude, that was insane. Oh my gosh. Woo, I focused. You guys don't see that very often, do you? You guys better than me. That was really scary. That was really scary. I not expected to play against someone that good at Clash Royale. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Damn. That was an intense game. He should have fireballed? No. Fireball doesn't do enough. Sometimes people come up with really, 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 really bad advice. Like the saying, like, the guy would have three-crowned me when he needed the bomb tower, and then someone just said Fireball would have won in the game. Alright, let's just explain why Fireball would have been trash. If you see him Fireballing, when he's at zero elixir, when miners and wall breakers are flowing at him, do you think he can get two Fireballs down right now? The tower's at 300 HP. If he Fireballs... He's dead because then he doesn't have Elixir to cycle back to another Fireball. It takes four cards to cycle back to another card. You drop Fireball, and then you have to cycle Electro Spirit, Skeleton Dragons, Royal Ghost, Hog Rider. And then you're back to another Fireball. 
In the time that he cycles those four cards, he's already dead. So you can't waste four elixir just fireballing my tower. It doesn't work like that. Uh, how about reading Aiden's message? I love your content, man. I've been struggling with mental health and watching your content always puts me in a good mood. Cheers. Damn, dude. Mental health is always a constant process for a lot of people. And, you know, I, I'm glad that you're able to talk about it and be open and upfront about it because, you know, that is something that needs to be talked about more and YouTube and kind of just everywhere. A lot of people just pretend like on media, if you go on social media, you go on like Instagram, for instance, or you go on Twitter, everyone's just always saying, my life is so good. Everything's going great. It's not always like that. You know, there are hurdles in life and you will get through them, Aiden. I fully believe in you, bro. And I, I want to just wish you the best. No matter what you're getting through, you will get through it. No matter what you're going through, you will get through it. And I believe in you. I just want to say that, man. And shout out to everyone that's going through stuff. Life is a bumpy ride and the lows and the crappy moments will always allow you to feel good when you reach a higher point. Because if you have low points and you move all the way back up and you, you have a good moment, you get to appreciate the good moment that much more. So that's the way that I try to look at it. When you have really crappy moments, you can look forward to the good ones because the, the difference is going to be so stark that it'll make you feel a lot better. I know I say that a lot, but just want to say that. Everything isn't peaches and cream, unfortunately, says Abraham. Couldn't have said it any better myself, bro. All right. There are not that many great resets to Inferno Dragon, so let's take them all. <laughs> let's steal them all. Uh, he's definitely running Graveyard, right? Let's pick Goblins. And Minions, maybe. Because he doesn't have Arrows. Minions Mortar. Sure, I don't care that you have the Dark Prince. It really doesn't matter. Where are your anti air counters, bro? What are you going to do? Legitimately, what, what, what is bro doing? What is bro cooking? Can someone let me know what bro is cooking? Because I, I don't see it. Bro trying to cook. <laughs> I think he's mistook. Gonna get hit with the book. All right, this game is already over. It's Jover. Hey, Sir Tag, just bought the diamond pass with your code. Thank you for using code Sir Tag. All the money that you guys spend on the code goes directly back into my editing, and it makes the channel better. I do appreciate that a lot. If you don't mind me asking, how tall are you? I am 5'11". Also, the mortar was trash. That was not a good pick, yeah, I think. We have to go Miner. I actually did not do this very well, I don't think. Miner gets directly on Tower, so that's a vibe, but I think it would have been better for us to go and pick a Inferno Dragon instead of one of the earlier cards. I don't know. I think my deck is well-rounded, but it could have been better. Like, I got like an I, I got an S-tier deck. This deck is great. It could have been better, though. If I had Inferno Dragon, this guy would get just... Does he not have a win condition? This homie really... Okay, watch this. A lot of people don't know this. Notice how the minions don't get damaged. No damage on my minions. Isn't that cool? If you drop it behind the skeleton barrel, they don't get damaged. Lots of people don't know that. If you don't know, now you know. Drop your minions behind the skeleton barrel. Finesse it. Get that value. Get the minions on the tower. Feel like you have all the power. Okay, this is looking decent. Definitely decent, my dudes. Electric Spirit clutches up. Gonna have Earthquake, so... Ooh, he's getting spicy out here. You guys saw that he predicted the mortar and then just lost the game. Imagine. Couldn't be me. GG. <laughs> he predicted the mortar with the earthquake and then got destroyed. Oh, no. I'm sorry. That happens to the best of us. That happens to me all the time. That happens to pro players way better than me all the time, too. You'll make a prediction. You'll feel fancy. And then you realize that you waste three elixir and you're like, this sucks. But yeah, he's, he's already dead. Oh, that was awesome. Oh my gosh. Calm down, brother. Brother man. Don't do that. Chill, bro. Chill, Bill. All right. So I'm dropping minions instead of dropping arrows because we get counter push with the minions. The arrows just sit there on our side of the map. Are goblins usually better than skeletons? Goblins are generically going to be more efficient if they are going to be countering graveyard. They survive zap. They're a little bit more robust. They do a lot more damage against bridge bam. Skeletons are good, but skeletons are better when they're evolved, and skeletons are also typically better when the opponent has log. Goblins are way worse when your opponent has log. That's the only thing that you have to worry about, really. If they got log, then don't run goblins. But if they do have log, then run skeletons. That's the uh, the flowchart for everyone. 
if you guys are wondering. This pulls both of them, right? Ah, uh, it doesn't even matter. I have Electric Spirit. It should pull both of them, usually. We also have Fireball here, so that's huge. Humongous value. I'm using Minor Poison if that matters a lot. Uh, if you're running Minor Poison with Little Prince, Skeletons are great. You can run that as well. It doesn't really matter. All is good. Electric Spirit cleans up. We'll fireball on this. A lot of people don't do this, but this is actually not a bad play. So easy. <laughs> if you fireball, it immediately kills the Barbarian, so you wait for the Battle Ram to connect to the tower if you absolutely need to. Um, you can usually hit other Bridge Bam components with the Barbarians. So if you need to clean up a Battle Ram, don't fireball back the Battle Ram. Fireball the Battle Ram after it explodes on your tower, because then you kill the Barbarians, and then you don't take as much damage. Uh, can you agree that Elixir Golem is the worst card in the game? No, you're wrong. Elixir Golem is actually pretty annoying. If you don't have the right card cycle, you can lose to Elixir Golem. You do deck reviews and gameplay reviews? Yeah, I do. Um, I do it on stream. I actually do do deck reviews. Generally, I do it once in a while. Not super often, but uh, usually once a month. So if you want to stay connected, subscribe to the channel. Stay connected for the streams because when I do them live... I check out decks for around two to three hours sometimes. <laughs> Last one I did for three hours reviewing your guys' decks. Please refrain from chirping while in the card selection. I agree. I should talk to you guys about the cards that I'm picking. Little Prince is the best card in the game, so we'll pick that. Um, Fisherman counters Little Prince, so I'm not going to let him do that. Fisherman, you can drop it in the middle. It pulls the Little Prince. And then it, if they click the Guardian... And the guardian will also get countered by the little prince as well. And that's six, or uh, by the fisherman as well. So it counters the little prince because it pulls the ranged little prince. Then they drop the guardian. Then the guardian dies to the fisherman as well. So the fisherman counters both of them. Pull the little prince, counter the guardian after. It's really broken. So that's why I choose fisherman almost every chance I get when I have little prince. Really, really strong. So there's no rage that I could pick. Um, I could pick Fireball. Choose Guards. They're safe. I really do want Fireball just for safety as well. It's a nice spell. Um, he's not going to choose Earthquake. I kind of want to go for Elixir Collector Goblin Giant because it's pretty broken. I want to pick Bowler as well. Does he have Electro Giant possibly? No. No Electro Giant. I'm not scared of anything that he could run. None of this is scary. This deck that he has is garbage. This is garbage. It's really bad. He's thinking I'm going to pick like Royal Hogs or something. <laughs> he already lost. Sometimes you can win the draft just by like picking a uh, slightly better deck than your opponent already. That's pretty crazy. Use Heal Spirit for a faster cycle. And then maybe like Spear Goblins or something. Armor's okay as well. Maybe Zap. Zap is decent for a fa fast cycle as well. Kind of wish I had Dark Prince. Use Bomber, I guess. Yeah, let's just do this, and then like Elixir Collector, and then Gob Giant. No way he counters that, right? We don't really have a push with it, but it's just going to be Goblin Giant, I guess. Gob Giant, Elixir Collector spam. With, um, it, watch him go E-Barbs. I don't even care. doesn't matter. He's dead. Unless he picks Earthquake, which he won't do. No way he picks Earthquake. I could choose Sparky, honestly. Oh, no, 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 oh, dude, I might have lost, I might have lost, oh, no, uh, all right, my mental's a little bit shattered, uh, okay, all right, what do we do, no elixir collector anymore, royal giant, probably, is that the only win condition I can pick? The only win condition I can pick. I mean, I can pick Royal Hogs, but he's got Dark Prince. And Tesla. I have to do Royal Giant. Okay, let's run it. Let's go. That sucked. That was annoying. Oh, dude. I, I set it up perfect. I set it up perfect. And then, and then he picked it. Matthew screwed me over, man. Matthew messed with me.
That was not good. I was fully focused. I had the right card. I just wasn't able to use it. We got Fisherman. He can't stop me from activating King Tower against the Goblin Giant, so that's good. You always want to sacrifice the Heal Spirit. You never want the Heal Spirit to jump. The Heal Spirit jumps, then you're dead. Or the Dark... Oh my gosh. Unlucky. Well, he poisoned it anyway, I guess. He's going to drop a Trash Ability right into guards and only get one guard. Right? Aw, oh, I was hoping. Inferno Dragon locks towers. So that's good. He's got Gob Giant. It would be really tragic for him to go in for a Gob Giant right now into a Fisherman. Let's just bomb her in the back, get a little bit of an Elixir advantage, go in for a Royal Giant at the river, and see what we can do. After we Inferno Dragon win the battle at the river against the Baby Dragon, guaranteed. Can't win that battle. And then we Royal Giant. Uh um, sorry. Wow, I, I had the best voice crack of 20, uh, 2023. We can get guards down. I think he lost. My dude just got cooked. Should be it. GG! That was pretty easy. Um, could I have played it a lot better? <laughs> yeah, you guys already know. <laughs> Doesn't matter, though. Doesn't even matter. <laughs> Favorite way to say. Fisherman here cleans up Dark Prince. You can also activate King Tower against the Dark Prince using the Fisherman, I'm pretty sure. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. Go Heal Spirit. I don't know if the Fisherman gets damage. I hope it does. I don't think so. Oh, Fish Slap! It worked. <laughs> so worth the one elixir. He hasn't even touched our tower, man. Crazy. Bomber back. Little Prince on the same side as the Gob Giant. Maybe go for Inferno Dragon. Feeling clean out here, guys. We're feeling clean. We're ready to conquer. Little Prince ability will knock that Goblin Giant back for a while, and it's going to tank. Oh, it got knocked out of the rage. Get wrecked, my dude. This must not feel good for him. He's dead. He's definitely dead. The Dark Prince is going to get pulled. And we can go for a Bomber here as well. Heal Spirit. Get a little Prince down. Snipe the Tesla. Tickle the Tesla. Tickle the Tesla. Wait, I can just Fireball this. What am I doing? I'm griefing. Yeah, this is pretty easy. We're giving him a perception that there's still a chance. Unless I disconnect. There's no chance there. He's defending with an ability, too. You had to Tesla against an Inferno Dragon. <laughs> Not be me, my man. All right, Fisherman pulls the Goblin Giant to the other side just to assert even more dominance. Yeah, look at that. Going towards the other tower now. As you guys can see, Fisherman in that placement is really good. Memorize your Fisherman placements. Maximize your value of Fisherman, and you'll be popping off. Let's play more games. Screw it. We're 20 wins. Uh, yeah, my cat, one of my cats named is, uh, cat's name is Luna. It's funny. Luna, Luna has a cat name and she's got a cat profile. I love it. And she's spamming cat in the chat. <laughs> Wait, does my cat have an account right now? I'm, I'm confused. Why is homie picking poison over little prince? That's a bad decision. That's just a bad life choice. All right, guys, let's run it back with Goblin Giant Elixir Collector. This time, I'm going to get my Goblin Giant, all right? It's going to happen. It needs to happen. No way, that's my cat's name. Yeah, dude, I guess all of our cats are in the chat. How many cats do you have? I have two. I'm a crazy cat man. Luna and Fiji. La Fiji. <laughs> I love saying that. All right, let's catch the Miner with an Ice Spirit and then run guards as well. Guards pretty broken. Oh, he just decided to pick Minor Poison. This man woke up one day and chose violence. <laughs> this is funny. Damn, sir! You out here. Alright, we want to pick Zap or Snowball so they can't finesse our bats. Oh my goodness. Chill, bro. Chill. Alright. In front of the dragon, I choose you. You're my favorite Pokemon. Uh, Alright, we have three cards left. Gob Giant, Elixir Collector, and Mini P.E.K.K.A. are going to be our options, probably. Or Prince. What's better with Gob Giant? I... Hmm. Probably Mini Pekka, but I don't. I, I think this is good because the bowler can't knock it back. He'll probably pick skeletons or bats. It'll be a nuisance. He has to. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Excuse me, moi? Uh, sir, your deck doesn't make any sense. It's just really defensive. All right, we have to pick Elixir Collector last, last card. Oh. Guess we're not picking Elixir Collector anymore, guys. Dob Giant should have been picked last. My bad. I really screwed up. But I could go Elixir Collector still. <laughs> you know how dumb that would be? You know how stupid that would be? I have Log for the Skeleton Army. I'm going to do it. Let's run it. Let's run it. Let's run it, boys. Let's run it. No mediocre up in here. No mediocre. <laughs> All right, I have to try really hard again. I'm not allowed to lose this. Let's full focus. Skeleton army in the middle would be a huge annoyance for us. They're probably skeleton army. I might little prince after. Oh, delivery. Interesting. All right, so we kill all that. That's seven elixir from him. He poisons. That's another negative one elixir trade. Let's just run it. Just run it. We kill his P.E.K.K.A. He's dead. If he loses his P.E.K.K.A. right now, he loses the game. Oh, if that were to retarget. I mean, he's still screwed. He played that terribly. He spent so much elixir. The poison was trash. That's what you do. You identify their elixir count. And you'd be like, you did a boo-boo. And then you're dead. Most of the time. That's, that's what it should be, right? Like, if they overcommit like crazy, you monitor their elixir count, and you're like, you can only afford P.E.K.K.A. You are down, like, four elixir. If I go guards, which can kill your P.E.K.K.A., then we're going to be in a good spot. All right, let's go elixir collector here, and then catch his miner with guards. A little bit more risky, but it's how we roll. And we get it. Nice. Light work. He doesn't have skeleton army in cycle, so he's going to go Valkyrie. Kill with a uh, Prince and Ice Spirit. He might be dead. Oh, I forgot that was the thing. Prince still gets a hit, which is huge. Do we get a little Prince or we get Inferno Dragon? Inferno Dragon's slightly more spicy. He's in a bad spot. That's all I'm going to say. Please poison. Please poison my little Prince. You know you want to. You know you want to. Oh, please, sir. We clicked the Guardian ability. I don't know if that was good. Aggressive guards, not bad. Ice Spirit as well. Probably get Skeleton Army. Sir? Sir? You found yourself in quite the conundrum, sir. Now I Goblin Jet other side. If this doesn't just straight up take his tower out by itself. I might be stupid for that. Yeah, I'm dumb. I, was, I messed up. I wasted a lot of elixir. I threw my entire elixir bar at him and I got nothing. Feels bad. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's just a violation. That is not good for my dude. Yes, we go in front of Dragon Goblin Giant here. I mean, cycle two Goblin Giants, I think. Oh. Yes, sir. I don't know if you're going to like this. I don't think you're going to be an enjoyer. He lost his entire P.E.K.K.A. and then we Goblin Giant again. Guards outrange the Valkyrie, so I could do that. Or I could Inferno Dragon just to be a nuisance. Be a massive menace. I'm a pretty big menace, actually. You already know that, though. All right, that's log. GG. That was too easy. GG. Yeah, elixir collector broken. Elixir collector is one of the best cards in this game mode if you're actually good, because you can outmaneuver your opponent. If they don't have a good way of killing the elixir collector, you always get a positive elixir trade. Bro, stop leaking. I played that well. Why are you criticizing me when I literally took no damage in one? Um, if someone can make a voice assert tag accurately, oh no, 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 let's not do that. Is buying a twenty win chest worth it? What do you mean? Oh yeah, I mean if you get over fifteen wins and you're not fully maxed out, it's generally worth. 
How was your time at the CR World Champs? It was really fun. I love seeing everyone. The return of the P.E.K.K.A., dude. Return of the P.E.K.K.A. All right. We're trying a lot harder because the people that we're playing against are better. I thought you said till 20. And I, I know. And I lied. And I decided to give you guys more content. Okay? <laughs> I lied. I lied. I wanted to play more. Let's get it. Is there really no big spell again? Imagine. Imagine never drafting a big spell. Then be me. There's no Goblin Giant Rage. It's just Rage. So lame. I'm hoping for more. Magic Archer used to be one of the best cards in the game before it got a nerf. Crash now. I don't even have the potential of running anything that I like. I guess Hog Rider Three Musketeers. Hog Rider is a pretty go-to win condition here. What even counters the Hog Rider? Why don't I just run that? I mean, I could choose mine or two. Let's let's screw him up. Now now go run your Golem Earthquake deck, dude. Go run your Golem Earthquake deck. Have fun with that. Haha, <laughs> got him. Got him, boys. He's going to be so pissed. You know, look at this and be like, "Why does this idiot have Hog Rider? Why do you pick it so early?" We can run Goblin Barrel with Hog. I think, that's, I think that's it, Chief. I think that's it. Goblin Barrel Hog going to be light work out here. It's going to be an easy win. I'm not going to get finessed by Minion Horde. I'm going to run uh, Goblin Barrel, Spear Goblins, Three Musketeers. He lost. It's already over. It's already over. What do you even do to counter Three Musketeers? Let's just do it. Let's run it. <laughs> oh my goodness. What you gonna do? What are you gonna pick? There's nothing. You got ended. Deleted. He's gonna have to pick Royal Ghost. If he's picking cards correctly. Nope. That's not it. <laughs> Alright, let's just choose the Goblin Barrel. Make it a dynamic game. Let's go. Alright, win. I already win. Candice Latte says, My name is Nikolai. I just want to say love the videos and I play because of you. Keep it up, bro. Hell yeah. We'll be creating a lot of content. What did he pick? I forgot what the last card that he picked. I'm looking at my stream because there's a slight delay, so I'll figure it out when I'm watching the stream. <laughs> I love the fact that I have an instant replay from that perspective. Or you guys can tell me. Lewis is going to win this? Nah, Lewis is going to get cooked. He just dropped... Okay, so it was Drill. And he drops the Drill in the wrong spot. So then the dr Goblins don't even lock onto my tower. They just lock directly on Spear Goblins. Did he just use his Valk? I'm pretty sure he did. He might have already lost. I mean, he, he lost when he picked the deck, but... He's in a very bad spot now. Oh, he just used his... Um, he just used his Delivery, so now he has nothing to counter the Goblin Barrel. So, if you don't have anything to counter the Goblin Barrel, what if I just did this? Because now you don't have a spell. This is going to be your hell. Ah, that was actually pretty smart of him. That was actually the best thing he could have done. I guess I overcommitted. That feels bad. Quick little Prince ability. Oh, you guys saw that, right? Oh, oh, this card is unfair. Oh, that was juicy. Y'all saw that, right? That was not that was not a figment of our imagination. No, that was. A serendipitous cycle of a little recruit's ability, killing everything. Oh, that is such a fair and balanced card. Oh, I should never be picking that first, guys, right? Ah, I can't believe I would pick such a trash card first play. It's a little bit unfair. Just a little bit. A little bit. It's okay, you know. It's so balanced that it balances the odds in your favor winning the game every time. Imagine having a card that balanced. Oh, that's so fair. Valk was used before drill. Yeah, yeah. We're good. He's going to delivery or something. I don't even care. I'm just like setting this up for pressure. It's not something I'm going to commit to. 
the most non-committal aggression ever. We got a cannon, skeleton dragons, and then we got all of his elixir. So instead of being a degenerate and spamming all of my stuff directly into him, guess what I decided to do? I said no. He doesn't have delivery, so I'm going to snowball on the Valkyrie, push it away, get the goblins on the tower, and say, Sayonara, sir. Then we click the little prince ability just to flex on him a little bit, just for fun. Doesn't even matter. And then he has nothing, so we're just going to three musketeers, and we'll delete it. Oh, that was really smart of him. Eh, it was night. Light work. Uh, let's go here. Let's go hog rider. Okay, that was a trash barrel. That was a trash can barrel. Wait, did it kill the... Killed the tower still! Didn't even matter. <laughs> Lewis, we were the apex predator of that game. Hell yeah. I love this game mode, by the way. I'm pretty good at it. I'm pretty good at it. Not gonna fib. Oh, I lost against this guy yesterday. Who was this? Definitely a mini account. I lost to a mini account on my main account. I lost a rank 41 player when he was pushing up. That's unfortunate. Oh, I lost to a couple of these people. I beat the greats guy. I gave him one of his losses. I lost to Matt as well. Wow, I got really unlucky. I played against a lot of really good players as they were pushing up. Huh. I guess it's kind of funny. Why do you split three musketeers? Well, the guy did split lane pressure. So if I split three musketeers, I'm going to be safe on both sides. I knew I was going to win the game anyway. So I just decided, hey, I split them up. All right, we're going to choose log probably because there's goblins and spear goblins. And that's very good. Snowball's also good. Oh, you're going to do that to me. All right. Okay, buddy. All right, bro. I see how it is. I love you too. I love you so much. I appreciate you. I respect you. Fire Spirit's goaded. Fast cycle. Cycle, 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 cycle. What do I want to play? Recruits, Fireball, Goblin Cage? No, no Goblin Cage. Tombstone. He's going to go Minor Poison 100%. I might have already lost. I don't think Minor Poison loses. Let's just steal the miner. I, I, oh my god, I lost. I think I already lost, unless... I mean, I guess I can go Gob Giant Sparky, right? Probably should have picked Prince. That was not the best decision of my life, but... Alright, Gob Giant Sparky, here we go. And Snowball. Yeah, I guess I'm going Gob Giant Sparky Snowball. I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> I don't think so. Ah! I hate my life. Wait, we can go Bowler. All right, so I could pick Sparky, I could pick Prince, I could pick Snowball. I have no idea. I think I lose. If he's smart, he picks Prince, I'm pretty sure. Those E-barbs were so stupid. Those E-barbs were so dumb. Why did I pick that? You could also go Royal Hogs. He doesn't have splash damage. Screw it. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't have a spell. I don't care. I, I, I'm just doing it. If he picks Fireball, I'll be, I, I'd die laughing. He doesn't have spell. He doesn't have splash damage. I feel like an idiot. I really feel dumb. He might play the delivery. Fireball. Okay. We'll see if we win. You're still choosing how it lost already? I, yeah, I definitely lost. He has minor poison. So. It's going to be hard. It's the heart of life for us. I mean, maybe. You never know. Maybe he'll throw. Pure Goblin Sacrifice! I mean, we're going kind of all in at the start, but 
Who knows? I think I get some E-barb damage on the tower. I just don't know how much. Oh. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> you know? I didn't expect it, but we take it. Get at me, bro. Get at me. Okay, not like that. Not like that. Not like that. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 All right, we're okay. We have two spear goblins chipping at him. And we're feeling a little bit more chipper because he doesn't have login cycle. That was a trash play. Nice. Eating a musketeer and an electric spirit alive for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Are you even eating though? Well, I know we're munching on your tower. Sheesh, you're going to go tombstone. You don't have elixir. Anything else? Just a minor on defense. Imagine. Minor tombstone? Six elixir against five and still taking damage? Couldn't be me. Could not be me, bro. We're going to drop a robust bowler because we do not have any idea of going in for a little prince and getting poisoned. Instead, we're going to slap the sh shovel silly with our bowler, bowl. uh, bowler ball. Screw it. Screw it. Let's do it. That's probably very stupid, but I don't care. Doesn't even matter. Oh my gosh. My man's on a mission to lose the game. Yo! You weren't ready! He was... Oh. That sucks. Unless... Oh, he wasn't ready! He wasn't ready! Okay, he's gonna fireball him, an idiot. Oh, he missed! Kinda. I don't have a big spell, though. So, I might lose, still. I forgot. I kinda wish I had that. The later this game goes, the worse it gets for me. Imagine? I'm literally a buffoon. I meant to click the ability so that I would tank for the Goblin Giant. I had a big plan. It did not work. I thought I had a fire... Oh. 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 Oh, no way. He cycled the Miner. <gasps> Please. Please. Sweet baby Kyle. Yes. <laughs> Shock 13 got shocked to the 14th degree. That's what we like to see, baby. Oh, I'm getting so fired up out here. Rank 35 player just got stomped. It destroyed. Light work. Light work. Dude, if I get the global tournament emote on this account, I'll be so triggered. I want to just transfer it to my main account. This was always happens. I get the 20 win emote on this account first. I get the global tournament emote on this account first. Okay. It's okay. This is how things happen. Um, Tragic. Slightly tragic. Okay. We're fine. Three musketeers are goaded. Three musketeers are goaded. Three musketeers are goaded. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, baby. Could not be me. Could not be me. You're going to be in absolute misery. Oh, this is so good. It's so clean. He's trying to finesse me like that. He's, th he's thinking he's clean like that. I mean, why not? <laughs> why not, sir? Um, Three Musketeers E-Giant, anyone? All right, all right, all right. Um, I don't really have a win condition, so it has to be like drill or rocket drill. Honestly, rocket drill. Why not? I kind of messed up. Should have picked Rocket Drill. I think I'll still be fine with Rocket Drill. 
Oh, this is degenerate. I messed up. That goblin gang was bad. All right, we're gonna go through Musketeer's Drill. Or through Musketeer's Rocket, not even that bad. Hmm. Musketeer's Drill, probably. Going in for the thrill. <laughs> uh. Sure. All right, well, this might work. This might not work. I don't know. Building, yeah, I've got Drill. It's like a multiple win conditions. Probably should have split three musketeers instead, but it's whatever. I don't even care if your mother wishes me. He should lose the um, little prince here. Gets outranged. Fine, doesn't matter. Delivery. Full cleanup. Nice. Goblin Giant's still unfair, but not that bad. Not broken enough to get a hit through Inferno Dragon and Musketeers. Oh, I'm bad. I should have drilled. I'm glad I didn't, actually. I was ready to know Mother Witch. He gets a pig. I can activate King Tower with this. If you don't know, now you know. Easy. Got it locked. I just kind of threw. Not entirely, but I'm not in a good spot. <sighs> I'm okay. Oh, this is not even that bad. <laughs> I forgot Electric Giant sucks without Tornado. Wow, that was funny. That was, that was a good moment. I, I was looking at that. I was like, hmm, am I dead? There's an Electro Giant and there's minions coming at me. I should be a little bit more scared. And I was like, oh, not bad. Light work. Easy. If I just zap on that Sparky, does it just die? I think so. <laughs> it's all dead. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Delivery. Oh my goodness. Get deleted. Your existence is gone. That was so funny. Yeet. Get out my game. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I eat this up, dudes. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We're eating good tonight. This is my fight. Oh, jeez. That was way too easy. And fun. All right. We'll go next. Oh, Goblin Giant, E-Giant, new meta. Well, I mean, that's what happens. If you're able to pick Goblin Giant and Electro Giant, you're probably going to uh, be a little bit scary. You're going to be a little bit much of a menace. I still... I want to show that again. That Goblin Drill pointed back was sick. And the Inferno Dragon melting the, the Electro Giant. Y'all probably thought I was dead. I thought I was dead as well. If you didn't think I was dead here, you guys are wild. This Goblin Drill where I was about to drop it was bad. I almost did it. I was really close to it. Wait, so a couple things. Activating King Tower with the Mother Witch Pig was huge. I knew that I could. This is an interaction that a lot of people don't know. A lot of people don't know this. Activating King Tower with the Mother Witch Pig, huge. Massive gains. And then this pullback was insane. Because I didn't have much elixir after my degenerate play. I, dro I dropped a Goblin Kang there and a Trill. <laughs> then it pulled back the E-Giant. And then I knew with the Royal Delivery I was going to be fine against the minions. I knew that if I cycled three Musketeers, I wouldn't have enough elixir for this. So I go in for Royal Delivery, kill the minions, and then Inferno Dragon. It'd be so cool if Clash Royale had a puzzle. Like showing you, how do you defend this push? Because a lot of people would probably go for a Bowler. Because it's the only card that they have in their hand. They'll be like... Bowler soaks up the minions, or they'd cycle three Musketeers, and they wouldn't think about delivery, and then Inferno Dragon away, because they would think Electro Giant counters Inferno Dragon. There's like a couple steps there. It's not that hard to think about or do, but for people that haven't played these cards before, they wouldn't know those interactions. 
or the goblin drill pulling back the electro giant which i got lucky on i didn't expect that to happen like i didn't exp i didn't predict the electro giant otherwise i want to spam as much elixir as i did at the river you're so pessimistic before the match but you play so well thanks man <laughs> puzzles would be cool yeah they need to add that to the game you're gonna hit 30 wins maybe i don't know hopefully we'll see Woo! Wild and out here. Do you guys want to see me do more global tournaments on streams? Do you guys like this? If you do, drop a like on the video. Let me know. And then if you do, then I'll be doing more of these live streams. If I do more of these live streams, you guys will see more content. Also subscribe. I put out daily videos or live streams at 3 p.m. Eastern. Also, guys, this is going to be my last stream in this apartment. I'm never going to be in this apartment again. I'm leaving. <laughs> imagine, imagine leaving where I've been living for over a year and a half and moving into a different place. Crazy. <laughs> He's like, damn, he got Little Prince already. <laughs> Imagine. Then I get someone with Little Prince first card pick. Then be you. Oh, he's not going to pick Fisherman. He's not going to do it. He didn't do it. Ah, Couldn't be you, sir. <laughs> I, I feel like such an ass, like, doing that. Like, picking Fisherman and Little Prince. Oh, man, it's just tragic. Fire Spirit's goaded. Um, how's the new place? I haven't been yet. I haven't been yet. I'm so excited. I get to go tomorrow, guys. I get to go tomorrow. New memories, new places, new people. It's going to be an amazing time. I'm really, really excited. Pick Dark Prince because it's really versatile. Definitely want a snowball here because I need to have a small spell. And that's a good small spell to have because it will counter the bats and push back balloons. One of the better small spells in the game. It actually did really well in the World Finals. There aren't many resets to Inferno Dragon, so I kind of want that. We could run Minor Fireball. I mean, it looks like this guy is like trying to run something that's annoying. I could run Bomb Tower Minor Fireball with Wall Breakers, and that would probably be pretty good. Never mind. Thanks, buddy. So he probably picks. Nah, he can't pick lightning. I don't know what he's gonna do. He's, he's dead. That was so stupid. That was a really bad pick. I think he's just dead if I pick goblin cage. He can't do anything, right? Am I on crack? Am I cracked? I think I win. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> and Fire Tower is going to get melted by a lightning, bro. We've got Fisherman for your Royal Giant and also like in Fire Tower. I, I mean, he could make some outplays. He could make outplays, but he's for, for all intents and purposes, homie. Oh my gosh, he's got two buildings. Why does he have two buildings? Guy's crazy. We've got Little Prince, we got Inferno Dragon, and we got Fisherman for his RG. He's got two buildings. This, this card cycle is deplorable. Makes sense. You're trying to start in hand me. I'm gonna distract it with skeletons or something. Ew. Annoying. I don't think that we hit the tower here. I think that was a pretty bad ability, all things considered. I think I played that pretty poorly. Alright, all the skeletons go in front. Load the Dark Prince in. It loses its shield, but it's fine. Um, I could Lightning here if I want to be a crazy person. But then I think I might lose the game, so I'm not going to. How many hits? Probably a lot. I did not play that well. I just need to get to double, and then I think I win. Maybe I'm wrong. I really don't want to lose this match because this guy should not win with this deck. Knight gets pushed back. Knight doesn't die. Oh, so bad. Really, 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 really bad ability. We just need to hit double so we can lightning through his buildings. But we're taking a lot of damage, which isn't good.
All right, so we can pull the Royal Giant to the other side at least. We're gonna lightning on top of the Dark Prince, uh, on top of the Musketeer in front of the tower, hopefully. Or that. I don't get anything really. I lost. I actually just got outplayed. I'm so surprised. I mean, we are able to push that off so we don't lose the game immediately, but I need to play better. Um. Okay. I mean, there's still a chance, right? Getting a lot lower as the game goes on. Mm. I could have won this if I played a little bit better. I need the best lightning ever. I might be able to get it. insane okay all right we're built different i played terribly that was one of the worst games i've ever played in my life Woo! no big deal no big deal it's okay it's fine it's calculative it's calculative <laughs> Woo! all right baby next game next game sheesh ah all right guys give me some likes in the chat <laughs> yes sirs like that stream? Give me some good vibes. Give me some good energy. I was calculated? Dude, it was calculated for the content. Of course. Of course, of course. No mediocre. Alright, we're gonna take the time to look at all the cards. He chose Archer Queen immediately. Let's just choose poison. Archer Queen dies to arrows plus poison, but that's a lot of elixir. Wait, why didn't I just choose lightning? I'm an idiot. I'm actually an idiot. I guess we can choose lightning later. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> poison log, poison log, we're fine. Poison log, poison log, we're okay. It's calculated, it's calculated, I promise. <laughs> I just gave him arrows, like what am I doing? I'm inting, I'm griefing, griefing my dudes. Now he gets three minions. It's okay, it's always calculated. Maybe it's so calculated because we can drop three musketeers on him. Yeah, it's so obvious it was going to happen that. Like that. Um, Galton King is goaded. I do really want Electro Spirit, though. We could choose Poison in Graveyard. Galton King. With Electro Spirit, doesn't matter. Doesn't even matter. Guys, a menace. A menace if I tell you. All right, we need Poison, Graveyard, and Tombstone. All right, we already have some of them. All right. Minor Wall Breakers? Goblin Giant? Goblin Giant's probably pretty goaded here. Or just three months tears goblin giant. <laughs> Do you guys want to see peak degeneracy again? Or nah? 
I think I'm going to run it. I think I'm doing it. I think I'm doing Three Musketeers. I think I'm running it. I think I'm going to go Three Musketeers Gob Giant. Oh, it's going to be so degenerate. It's going to be so much fun, though. I'm really excited. People aren't ready. People aren't ready. There's no way he's ready. There's no chance. He's going to look at this. He's going to tell you, Jake, you're a freaking fool. I love it, though. Tag, you play Rocket League? No, I don't. I had to spend a lot of elixir to counter two. Not fun for me, man. Well, those are dead minions. It's essentially how it's like six elixir, three musketeers now. I take that. Terrible arrows. What is this guy doing? Six elixir. He has three elixir now to counter three musketeers. Like, and, and even advantage, even disposition. All right, he dropped five elixir. That's a negative two trade for him. That was terrible. That was so bad. I'm just gonna Skeleton King other side. I don't want to deal with that. You could Mega Knight. I'll just kite it the other side. I'll eat the damage. I want the Prince to die. We kite this other side to win the Mega Knight, and then we go Goblin yet, or we go for guards on the Prince after. Perfect. Maybe not. These minions are going to be a bad thing for us. How much damage? I think I lost. Yeah, I don't think I win this. Good. Hmm. That Archer Queen is such a problem. It's actually really good. I should have run Lightning. R Lightning Goblin Giant probably would have won me this game, honestly. Lightning Goblin Giant later stage, easy win. Yeah. Next time when I see someone pick Archer Queen, I'm going to immediately pick Lightning. I learned. played well well i learned pick lightning at the start that would have won me the game it's important to realize those mistakes so then you don't make them in the future my bad guys oh first l first l in a little bit first l in a little bit that was an easy win too if i just pick goblin giant lightning i don't think there's any way he wins def already lost from the draft yeah i should pick lightning you saw when i picked the poison i immediately cringed i was like that was stupid so it's important to like look at the stuff and then figure out what you're gonna get and what you're not gonna get let's start Stop playing your Tilted after that last match, says Zachary. Uh, don't tell me to stop or not stop. I play whenever I want. I'm doing the live stream live with you guys, so. I don't really care if I win or lose or don't get it. I kind of want to just play it live with you guys. All right, all right. Let's keep going. Woo! Um, I've never seen bro lose. It's like my idol die. <laughs> I lost one game. I won 25. What? Oh man, YouTube chat build different sometimes. <laughs> I'm going to lose eventually, right? Like everyone loses. Every, even the pro players, they're losing at 33, right? 25 is really good. If I lost all three games in a row right now, that's still pretty respectable. Yeah, I don't know guys. Uh, opinion on Adriel and CRL. Sorry for repeating the question. Adriel is really, really good at the game. Bro thinks people don't lose. And, uh, dude, I don't know. People are crazy. Can you get mad and yell at the screen? Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like it, when you did pick Lightning for the Archer Queen, yeah, it was a huge mess up. 
I saw the Archer Queen and didn't pick Lightning. My bad. Your voice sounds deeper uh, on your stream than it does in your vids. Yeah, I'm fully focused right now. We're fully focused. Where are you from? I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. I want to see more uh, Jake portraits from BlizzCon. I'll definitely have a lot of pictures. If you guys uh, want to follow my Instagram or Twitter, um, or tag CR. Or tag, you got this? Yeah, dude, hopefully. We're vibing right now. We're vibing. Okay, he picks Little Prince. What do I pick after? Fisherman. I pick Fisherman and Snowball. Probably. Take away his time. Make him pick immediately. What else do I want? Okay, he's got Tornado. There's no Electro Giant or anything. What wind conditions are good? Miner's only good. Tornado's pretty good against Balloon. Tornado's good against Royal Giant. There's no poison. There's only lightning. That's by far the best big spell. I want that. I want lightning. I really want lightning. Take it early. The only big spell that's worth. All the other ones are really trash. Um, Skeleton King's pretty good. Let's just take that and see what route he goes. I could just pick Royal Giant, honestly. That's probably the play. Royal Giant Guards, Phoenix, Firecracker, probably great. Like, this this seems really good. It seems goaded. I think Firecracker's going to be really annoying, and I kind of want Guards. Fire Spirit's probably decent. Yeah, I think I have a good deck. All right, so we want Royal Giant Guards, and then what else? Hunter might be important, so then we can counter um, Balloons. Yeah, I mean, I can also go a different direction. I could go, like, Giant. Hunter. I can also pick Three Musketeers. <laughs> Definitely gonna go Balloon. Really looks like a Balloon deck to me. Has to be Balloon. Has to be. Well, he knows I'm picking RG. I mean, I'd pick Giant if he picked RG randomly, but there's no way he does. Maybe he tries to screw with me? Yeah. I figured. All right. We'll see how this goes. Draft is no skill or skill. Oh, it's definitely skill. You you judge your own fate. You pick what you pick. All right. The later this game goes, the better. So we'll just wait for him to cycle something. We'll go Skeleton King, same side. Alright, we could lightning on this, but it's pretty aggressive. If he drops his ability, then we do. Otherwise, we just firecracker. You should balloon other side, possibly. Not my best. I was hoping that we could get damage with that, but we went right into a Valkyrie. And we can eat the Valk and maybe go in for a uh, Royal Giant immediately. Just see how this goes. Forget his other cards. Rascals. Not going well. Not going well. That should damage it down, and I should probably lose off that. No. Yeah, I can't defend this. I can't defend it. Unless we can make something really crazy happen here, we're in a bad spot. I think I should have waited until later, later stage, and when I cycled my uh, Hunter, I kind of lost. My fault. Alright, so that pulls. Does lose a little Prince. How am I going to break through Rascals? Oh, how am I going to break through Rascals, man? 
You're not locked in? I, dude, when I lose games, you guys can chill with that. Like, um, that is one of the few things that is, uh, you know, I win and lose. I don't win every single game. I think sometimes people have unrealistic expectations. Um, we can go Rascals, hopefully counter. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, he's going to try to three crown me. I don't know if he can. Wait. We're going to get damage. Okay. Lightning on the Rascals? Uh, the tornado is too strong. Yeah. Tornado was a really, really, really good pick from him. He had Little Prince and Tornado against our Royal Giant. So I think that that was enough. Yeah. It makes sense. We'll go next game. GG's! Skeleton King and Guards lost you the match and you picked it again? Alright, yeah. I mean, sometimes people just don't understand the game and then comment stuff. So, uh... Make sure that you guys don't comment things when you don't understand the game. Because that is, at least for me, it's not something that we love. Skeleton King and Guards are not... Like, if you lose with Skeleton King and Guards against someone that's really good and you play poorly... Like, the reason why I lost the game... I'll just show it real quick for everyone that wants to watch. Um, I lost the game because I decided to go in for a bad hunter. And then obviously, if you don't have counter to the balloon and you go in for a bad hunter, you're going to lose the game. So what could I have done differently? Let's look at it from that perspective. Instead of arguing with you guys, let's just show you like what, what was bad. The, the Firecracker wasn't great. I thought that we might be able to lock on a Little Prince and get value. That was a bit of more commitment. Should have cycled with Firecracker in the back. Then with this card cycle, I think I snowball on defense and then save my hunter. I think I just snowball and then guards on defense. Because I, I was looking at that, I was like, I have to cycle card, but I could have just snowballed back that stuff and then guards and then save my hunter for the uh, the balloon. Then I didn't have anything. I could have lightninged actually instead of playing really aggressive, but I, realized, I, I thought my card cycle was kind of screwed. So just looking back at my card cycle, it's a little bit awkward here and I didn't know what to do because I was looking at my hand. And I don't have guards, so I don't have an easy cycle. So what do I do? I make the bad play of going in for the hunter when I needed that to counter the balloon. And I knew he had balloon because I gave him the balloon. So why did I lose? Because I wasn't good. I messed up. It's not because I drafted a card that was incorrect. You can say I didn't play well, and that's true. That's 100% accurate. But if you say, like, you lost because of Skeleton King and Guards, then you don't understand the game at all, and you don't understand, like, what I did wrong. It's just, uh, gotta understand why you lost instead of making excuses. You know, I don't like making excuses saying, like, um, like, I lost the game because of, like, the matchup or whatever. I, I, I didn't play well. I played, like, trash. That was the reason. Always want to, like, put, um... Put the, like, onus on where it is. Otherwise, you're not going to improve. Hopefully, that makes sense. Hopefully, that makes sense. Yeah, that's my fault. That was my fault, 100%. I think skill discrepancy that lost you in the match. That's the reason why I messed up. And it happens. And that's okay. Oh, I wish I played better. Next time, we'll play better than the next game. Great gameplay? Yeah, yeah. It happens, man. It happens. Skill discrepancy? William commented that? Well, yeah, I, I lost because of a skill issue. I dropped the hunter. That was a bad decision. Um, You're a tall guy? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm 5'11". 5'11". Love your videos? Is Bowler good in drafts? Yeah, yeah. Bowler is pretty pretty good. It's good against Little Prince. It's hard watching you uh, break down that gameplay. Oh, I read that incorrectly. Oh my gosh. I'm glad I didn't read that correctly. That would have been so bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, my brain isn't working. I almost read a really bad comment. <laughs> Dude. Oh, a big spin. Yavo. <laughs> no way. I'm playing against the biggest of spins. Tornado first card. Facts. Gives us too much versatility. Good against every win condition in the game, basically. Let's see what direction the Yaw Voler goes. Monk, okay. I guess we're picking Goblin Cage or Tesla. Monk Arrows, makes sense. Ice Spirit it is. Prince is going to be pretty good here. He's also one of the best players in the game, by the way. So it's kind of scary to play against him. 
Prince is going to be pretty good. Yeah, he chose guards. Yeah, I don't have a great answer for them. I think I just get to late game and then I probably win. Depending on what happens here. Lightning's going to be good. I'm not going to run minor wall breakers or anything like that. It's it, like it would be a death sentence. I can't run minor wall breakers against him. Because he has a monk, so I can't run defensive buildings and expect that to work. All right, Electro Giant Goblin Cage, and what's my last card here? Electro Giant Goblin Cage, and what else? Mini Paka or something? Royal Ghost. Electro Giant Goblin Cage, Royal Ghost. Electro Giant Goblin Cage, Skeleton King. Mighty Miner, maybe. Hmm. I'm really focused because obviously I'm at 25 in this challenge, so everyone's really good. I'm playing against Big Spin. <sighs> he screwed me. He actually just cooked me. Hooked, as he would say. Hooked. Mini Packer or Ebarbs? Or Royal Ghost? Ebarbs it is. Hmm. So now I get to pick my win condition. Hog Rider, Rail Hogs, or... Yeah, I can pick Hog Rider because he doesn't have Tornado. I do. Oh, damn. This sucks. Hog Rider's going to be pretty good against them. Probably picks Mini P.E.K.K.A. But I think I win. I have, like, better defense here. I definitely have better defense. I have Ebarb's Prince, and then I also have uh, Goblin Cage. I think I win this matchup. And I have NATO. Okay. We'll see what happens. Where's your anti-air? I don't need anti-air. Do you see his deck? He doesn't have Balloon. All right, I'm going to really focus because this guy is better than me. He's got a higher rank. He's also one of my friends. He's really, really good at the game. So he's got Electro Giant as his win condition. All right, let's just go Goblin Cage on defense as soon as we can. We'll save our E-Barbs for the, uh, the Electro Giant. And we're fine doing this. Eeky Chip. Should full counter. I guess not. Feels bad. He doesn't have guards in cycle, so he's gonna go minions. Uh. Wow, the fire spirit just got wasted. That sucks. Not the start that we were looking for. Mm, so much elixir. Yeah, I'm in a bad spot. I think I lost. I gotta go Prince here. He's gonna go guards after. I'm in a really bad cycle. I needed to get to the later stages of the game to win this. Because I do have lightning. Which isn't gonna give me that much, but it'll give me something. Like if the game gets closer, then I could win by spell damage. Kind of what I was hoping for, but this game is not going in the direction I wanted. Oh, it still gets a shot on my tower. Dang. I could lightning on that, but that's a little bit aggressive. Put our e-barbs. Rascals are such a pain. Remember, he doesn't have a big spell, so we should be okay. I 
I just need to get to the later stage of the game, I think. So I'm just playing super, super, super defensive until I can get there, hopefully. He's trying for me not to get there. He really doesn't want me to get there. He's trying to spam and split his stuff as much as he can. Okay. He's doing dual lane pressure, which is annoying, but it is probably pretty good for him. Go for a fire spear on top of the rascal if we want. No. All right. Fire Spirit here. Ice Spirit. Split E-Barbs. Alright, we gotta start playing a little bit more aggressively with our Hogs. Got a lot of stuff coming at him now. Okay. Take the lightning. Probably not in a great spot anymore. Right? See how this goes. No! So close! Yeah, so if you guys don't know who Big Spin is, he is one of the best players in the world. This is his level one account, so he's played on multiple accounts. We did lose at 25. Dang it. I wish we were able to win, uh, but we lost three in a row at the end. I think all these people were playing on mini accounts. Obviously, this is not his main account if, it's, if he's playing on a mini account at 2,000 trophies. This guy, probably his main account. This one we shouldn't have lost. He did get the 20 win challenge, though. So we did lose against a 20 win player. Multiple 20 wins. Well, this one, at least the 2023 got 20 wins. Very good player. And then, of course, Big Spin. If you guys didn't know him, he casted CRL. And he, I actually was, I saw him like a couple days ago insanely insanely good players uh we'll play one game on ladder before we end the day i do want to end on a win after losing three games in a row so we're just going to go and pop onto ladder and then end it on a w so don't mind me as we switch and we don't show too much stuff on the screen but yeah as you guys can see hopefully um i was able to give you guys a lot of information on how to win mega draft and complete the mega draft tournament as high as you guys can possibly get um it's not easy when you play against people better than you i did play against big spin who is definitely better than me at the game um, I can beat him. It was really close. It was by like 100 HP at the end. I was fully focused. But as you guys saw, my matchup was really good in the mid stage of the game because lightning out damages them. So it was unfortunate we took that out there. As you guys can see, we are top 1,000 in the world right now. We're going to win one game and then we'll pop off. The person I just beat on ladder, um, ranked 22 in the world, ranked 19 in the world, and I just beat him. So hopefully we can continue to beat people like that. Well, he's ranked 300 in the world right now. I beat him my last game. And then I lost at draft. See this guy? I told you I played against him. Mini account again. I lost that to lose out of my draft. Look at this. Where is he right now? I told you guys I lost against him. So sometimes you can get a little bit unlucky, and that's exactly what happened there. I played against Big Spin. Oh, look. This guy's in Big Spin's clan. <laughs> Where's Wojak? Uh, Wojak is some, or he used to be in the, yeah, there he is. He's ranked 42 in the world right now. He got ranked 42 in this global tournament. And I lost against him. Or I, uh, yeah, I lost against him in the global tournament. So sometimes you can get unlucky and play against people that good. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen to you guys. The later you get, uh, the more frequently you'll play against people like that. GG from Big Spin. Uh, say GG to Big Spin. I love him. He's one of the best players. One of the best players in the world. And also one of my favorite people.
All right. So since Skeleton King is out of cycle, we're just going to go and do that. And... Yeah, we're in a really good spot. We can go for a Royal Delivery on top of the Minion Horde if we want, or... We can do Ice Spirit and spend less Elixir. And that's slightly better than less Elixir, you know? Click the ability here. Keep the Little Prince alive. Uh, not, not quite. It's all good. We're still in a decent spot. We're up a lot of damage, and we're in a situation where we found out that Royal Delivery is going to counter his Minion Horde. I bet you it's going to be a Mortar... I bet you it's going to be Mortar Miner. Probably a Mortar Miner deck. So let's go and cycle our archers here and see what else we can cook. See if we can cook out here. If he goes in for a mortar, we can go in for an earthquake on it. Otherwise, I just want to go in for a log. Finish off his archer a little bit easier. Then go for an ice spear on the skeleton dragon. And then go for rail hogs. I think our archer stays alive, so that's huge. And then we can earthquake on the goblins and the mortar. That archer killed everything. And then if we go for archer's evolution, then we start to get more value. Archer's Evolution in the middle can almost full counter a Hog Rider. If you go for Archer's Evolution right here, and then the, the Hog Rider comes down, you can almost full counter it. You just have to drop Skeletons, and then it full counters. So cycling these as much as possible is going to give you huge positive Elixir trades. Evolutions are way different than the other games. Like the Global Tournament, no Evolutions. It actually takes a little bit more skill. Global, global Tournament is harder to play than regular Clash Royale. So I kind of wish they had like a retro Clash Royale mode where, you know you're kind of forced to get better at the game and think about all of your decisions. Instead of just being like, okay, I'm going to Earthquake on top of a Mortar, and then you're kind of in a bad spot. I guess you outplayed me and you expected me to do that, but that's totally fine. It doesn't even matter. I can go for a Delivery again, and I'm back to it, so it's not like you're going to get anything. Even if you Arrows, doesn't kill, like, in time, and then we go for Royal Hogs, and then we get Goblins out of you. All right, we just go for a little prince again. Skeleton dragons probably die. We can go for archers in the back. All right, this game is for top 1,000 ladder, by the way. So there is a lot on the line. So I do really want to win it. That was a good play on our opponent's end, but it, I don't think it matters that much. He did snipe all of our super archers, so that was well played on his end. He did play that really well. Well, wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> Too bad the archer's evolution is a little bit unfair. And we can cycle more than him. I don't want to even click the ability, it doesn't matter that much. That'd be foolish. Rather delivery there on the things that actually matter, and they go for archers again. Skeletons are going to do some damage, but not enough. Mortar, we earthquake it, and then we get a lot of value. Let's tank for the evolve archer a little bit. You don't always have to go uh, for delivery on top of... Ooh. Yeah, I was going to say, you don't always have to delivery. On top of minion hordes. You do other stuff as well. Arrows is a bit obnoxious, but I think we're fine. Alright, we're gonna go Earthquake, Log, Ice Spirit, Skeletons. Nice! GG. Good player. That guy was really, 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 really good. BTS number one, <laughs> Army Forever. 
Oh, all right. So yeah, we did end up winning the last game of the day. I'm glad that we were able to jump into a ladder game. It's always uh, a bit difficult to win a game after you lose a lot in a row. So it's nice to be able to get that. And this guy ranked 400 in the world. So pretty good. Always nice to see that. Uh, so this is my ladder deck. We are currently top 1000 in global leaderboards. If you guys want to check me out, you can go to in game, scroll all the way up. And boom, we're there. We're 903 in the world. Pretty cool. So if you guys want to check out this deck, check out the pinned comment. I will be posting uh, a full video on this deck. So if you guys want to get better at ladder, you can transition there and have vibes there. Also, highly recommend this on Path of Legends or Trophy Road. No matter where you are, one of the best decks in the game. If you wanted to, you could substitute out the Ice Spirit for a building, like a Bomb Tower or a Cannon. Or if you don't have Evolved Archers, um, you can run regular Archers or you could run Cannon here instead. Cannon works instead of Evolved Archers or Bomb Tower works instead of Evolved Archers. Also, if you don't have Little Prince, you could use Musketeer or you could also use Archer Queen. Those are the substitutions that you guys can make. And Poison instead of Earthquake maybe works. It's just not as good because then you're not able to outcycle. Um, you're going to be forced to outcycle to get your damage. You're not going to be able to break through buildings when you don't have Earthquake. It'll be a bit harder. Anyway, guys, check out my comment, uh, pin comment if you want to see that deck in action. I love you. Good luck in the rest of your global tournament if you guys are playing it. Mega Draft is one of the most fun game modes in existence. We did get 25 wins on stream today. I definitely could have done better. But I reviewed my losses and I showed you guys why I made mistakes and why I lost. So we'll always do better. We'll be better. Diego B is a professional player that got 25 uh, wins as well. So this guy also got 25 wins, ranked 5 in the world, ranked 32 in the world. He's currently ranked 137 in the world. So for me, my skill level, doing just as well as Diego B, that's pretty respectable. For, at least for me, I'm okay doing as well as a top 5 player in the world while I'm streaming it. We'll do better next time though, all right? Hopefully we can get 30 on stream. Our best record is 35. I'd love to get that again. So see you guys later. Check out the pinned comment. No matter when you're watching, no matter where you're watching, have an amazing rest of your day. Lots of fun battles, and there'll be many more next time. Peace.